do it again. I'm already left. All right, hang on. I'm not. Sorry. Marty Mark. You know you're supposed to be in the wrong chair. Who me? Yeah. Why? Oh. Cause it's three mics here. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. Or just get on that mic. Seven. You gotta sit wherever you want. <sighs> All right. Hey, what's up, man? You. Is that good for you? It's great. Grab that mic. You're in. I'm in, baby. You can push that chair back if you want. I don't think anybody's gonna sit there today. So. All right. We ready? Welcome, welcome to the funniest podcast on the planet Earth. I always try to keep it like a comic hang. I have a bunch of guys on. It's just us sitting down and yapping. And sometimes it's hilarious. Sometimes it's intense. It's Robert Kelly's. You know what? You know what? There's no topics, no directions. But I love doing this. No fucking topics. No direction. Good. Ryan! Live from the brand new You Know What Dude Riotcast Studios atop the Comedy Cellar in the West Village of uh, uh, Manhattan. Mm -hmm. uh, we are starting this show today. We are live on Ustream. You fuckers watching right now on your Samsungs or your iPhones. The cameras are boom, boom. And boom, uh, we're going to go to the three shot as soon as uh, Chris Scopo figures out what the fuck he's doing. <laughs> Adrian, do something. I mean, Jamal. His name's Jamal today. <laughs> his name's Jamal. Um, so we are, uh, we're live. I got some, uh, some of my favorite people who have been on the show are here today, which I'm very excited about. Dante. Yeah. What's going on? Um, is here. We have um, Mark Norman. Good to be back. Who is uh, whiter than Dante? <laughs> and then we have Monroe, hey, one everybody. of my favorites, who is darker than everybody in here. <laughs> darkness, the darkness. Um, darkness. Mo, mo, mo. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're fucking eight feet tall. I thought he meant my voice. I was no, like, darkness. no, no, no. <laughs> no oh, put the mic up, dum dum, because Mark's head's cut off too. You fucking. I can go lower as well. No, you're not going lower. He needs to put the fucking camera up. Darkness. The camera's just low. Keep going. Keep going. Low, keep going. Low, keep low, going. Low, low, right there. Low. Fine. Stop. There you go. Perfect. Hey, Monroe, can you get shorter? Can you chop? Can you kneel for this podcast? Because <laughs> Scopa doesn't want to walk over there and put the camera up. <laughs> hey, sit. can you just sit on a No, no for fucking us? ah. Just take the hit, you fucking cunt. Sit <laughs> Indian style on the ground. Monroe, lower your chair a <laughs> foot and a half. <laughs> I think it's already <laughs> down. <laughs> fucking asshole. You can put your chair back up if it's more comfortable. It was. It okay, was. it was. I don't know why you had to get fucking silly about it. His knees all bent. It was. It was. <laughs> hey, I'm really happy to be here, guys. <laughs> is it uh, now? How are the chairs? Is it comfortable? Yeah, the chairs are comfortable. Is it more comfortable than the old chairs? No. Than the couch? No. <laughs> couch was great. You love the couch? Yeah. See, there's a problem with the couch. You ready with the couch? Whoever sat on the couch, which you rarely did. I always sat on the couch. Like I said, which you mostly did. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You guys, the second half of the show, you guys got too comfortable, you fall asleep. That's, that's true. true. Yeah, that's no good for us. We call that the me? Bill Dawes syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> His vines are the worst. Ugh. <laughs> so do you know who Bill Dawes is? I know Bill well. I didn't know he has a. Does he do a lot of vines? He yeah. does. Unfortunately, he does a lot of vines. Pays more attention <laughs> to his vines than his daughter. Ah! Oh, <laughs> back. Sorry. Last episode, just for you people who don't know, <laughs> I found out this motherfucker has a 14 year old. Was it? She 14 or did 17? He, or did he, he know? Or is she 14? I think she's 14. Yeah. A 14 year old beautiful daughter. Did he know that or did yeah, he Yeah, he knows that he's been friends with her for 14 years. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't tell any of his other friends That's that funny. he has a daughter as a friend. <laughs> <laughs> that was so fucking That's crazy. <laughs> it's funny cuz Rondell found out he had a 13 year old and really? she was already 13. And he <laughs> just found out. He found out wow. like last year. Now here's the big question: Does Ronell want us to know that? Uh, yeah, we well, he's he's claiming it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, you know, he wasn't sure, right? 
No, the Randell has a tendency to fuck random fat girls. I think we all have that tendency. Yeah, um, yeah, been there. Mm, no, uh, I've been to nope, Sam Houston nope. College in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked a, I fucked a nice fatty over there once. Really? Uh, dude, I had a big chick there one time. I remember she came in my room. I had Doritos. <laughs> she sat, uh, she came in. sat on the edge of the bed. She called me up. She's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm just eating Doritos. She goes, you want me to come over? I go, I guess. <laughs> she came over. She sat on the edge of my bed and ate Doritos. <laughs> Wait. With one little, like, two, or just an index finger and a thumb. Uh. She'd pinch them out like a little two-year-old would. Like, you know, like they're learning yeah. to fuck. She grabbed them, put them in, and then... Um, she reached over when she was done eating Doritos and grabbed my dick, ripped my sweatpants off. They were like the pull-offs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's all you heard. Grabbed my dick, started I playing with it. And then uh, I, I, she lied on the bed. I got on top of her. That's where I came up with that joke. Uh. Well, you know, I, I like a fat chick, not too fat. I, don't want, I want both my knees to touch the side of the bed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want it to be like fucking on an upside-down canoe. <laughs> That's where I got the joke from, because both of my knees, I, was, I wasn't balanced. <laughs> I kept falling one way or the other. Did you give her the hotel number, or did you just leave a trail of Doritos? <laughs> <laughs> she smelled them. I, uh, yeah, Bobby's she, dick smelled like Cheetos. Yeah, she, she blew me. <laughs> I remember, she blew me, and I remember I stopped in the middle of The first time ever I've stopped a blowjob. In the middle Too of toothy? It. No, I just was like, this chick's big as shit. Just Doritos <laughs> on her tongue? On eh, your dick. I know, I got a fucking orange <laughs> cock. <laughs> oh, which is actually not that bad. Um, yeah, she. then I said, oh, just finish. Just do your That's thing. That's in there. Yeah. Wow. I like a big girl. You don't like you have a fat Yeah, I fucked a fat chick. My friends had to pick me up. My roommate and my friend had to uh, pick me up from her house because it was in the. Like, she was on top of you, huh? <laughs> no, her room, her place was disgusting. We had to move I saw food you. off of her bed I, I saw to you. have sex. I yeah. saw you the, uh, that night that you left there when they came again. Yeah, you came up to the club and you yes. was like, her, her, her house was nasty. Her house was disgusting. I took a video yeah. of her house and sent it to my friends, and they were like, "We're coming to get you now." It was like hoarders, like a fucking. It History was disgusting. Channel? She had. Uh, she had like sandwiches, like an old sandwich on her bed, uh, chips, uh, pizza, box. pizza boxes. She had a, I showed you. You sure you weren't fucking naked? And her mattress was like so worn out that we was like fucking in the middle and it was just clapping Spring. us on the side. Like like <laughs> Willy Wonka and the Charlie's uh, uh, grandfather mattress? <laughs> yeah. 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 We was fucking on a soft shell uh, top. Oh <laughs> Jesus Christ. Puerto Rican from 1997 Why, just walked in. <laughs> Wow. What the fuck? Do you just drop an album, LL Cool <laughs> Funk Master? What <laughs> the fuck, fuck are you? <laughs> Would you Yo. just join What's Cypress up? Hill? <laughs> What's up, Daddy O's? <laughs> Daddy O's. Wow. You look terrible. Jesus Christ. <laughs> 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 fucking cool. What's up, Age? What's up, Cool Mo D? What's up, motherfucker? <laughs> what, do you, what, where'd you get these, what fucking woman did you get these glasses from? <laughs> First of all, I'm coming in here today. There's a bunch of non regulars, okay? <laughs> so I don't want them to see my eyes. It's like a poker game, right? Uh, so that, that was the Christ. worst yeah. improv you've ever done. Can you no. give me my fucking rattle? He planned that one. Yeah, that was terrible. He knew he was going to shit on his drag queen glasses. It's not over no, here. The rattle's <laughs> over behind. there. The rattle's over there. We keep the rattle over there. These are my pens. We don't. Your rattle doesn't stay on my desk. I have change. You want to shake that? No. Yeah. He uh -huh. looks like he's gonna sell. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish Lewis had change. <laughs> <laughs> and your soul. Oh, oh there he is. There he is. Oh, Puerto man. Rican rattle. Wow, yeah. you really look like a Puerto Rican today. Yeah. Oh yeah. Even yeah. though you play, you hate You look like you have a <laughs> eye stigma. Yeah. <laughs> you look like the evil ghost in Ghost. Hold on. Are you guys just gonna let him say eye stigma? Uh look at him. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll yell at his fucking his producer. <laughs> I'm not yelling at Dante. Like what I, the fuck? I, was what's his name? What was his name? <laughs> Harry. Harry. I yell. I'll yell at Harry. I'm not yelling at Dante. It's gonna take me a lot to yell at that motherfucker. Yeah. How many minutes till Dante starts pouring sweat? Do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I give it. A, I give it's already six. going down. Oh, it's right. already going down. <laughs> yeah, Dante. <laughs> So, uh, anyways, we got a great show today. I want to thank, um, I want to thank a couple people really quick. Heather Graves, thank you so much for the uh, beautiful card you sent me. It was very nice uh, of you to uh, do that. Uh, she was, you know, congratulating me on my special, and I want to thank, I want to thank all you guys who came out to the show once again. You guys are packing the house. That was the scariest thing. If I couldn't fill a fucking two hundred seater mm. twice in one night, my in my basically my second hometown, I'm fucked. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, we're going to get into it today. This is the show. Um, Christy Stefano, right? No, Chris Stefano. I always fuck up that name. 
the Stefan, the Stefan. Because you got uh, Mikey D in your mind. Yep. I do. I yeah. do. Wrong guy I got AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wow. I, it's just the he's work. not going to listen to this, Mikey D. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Um, there's a lot of shit. Uh, uh, fuck. <laughs> I, I hope I hope you run that. Like I hope. You, uh, fuck it. Fuck me. I got the bandana already around my fucking. Like, I just mumbled it. I came up with a good one, but I fucking stumbled. I was like, I hope you run in front. I hope you run into a real rattlesnake. Uh, fuck me. I still fucked it up two times. I Chris, tried to switch it up. Chris will get AIDS eventually, though. <laughs> yeah. He's on the, way, the way he's going. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's I hope he gets the new AIDS. But it's yeah. like the one they can't cure. Not the Magic Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like a fucking a brand new double strand. Ooh. Yeah, but Chris, the girls like, like Chris cancer gets, AIDS, but they're dope. Like I would <laughs> be gets proud like, to get AIDS from any yeah. of those girls. Yeah, he's he's he girls, my god, nineteen-year-old white girls, girls. Dope. unbelievable. Right yeah, he had a Brazilian oh threesome god. the other day. What? Yeah. Well, no, wait, no, I take it back. You might get AIDS. He yeah, has yeah, AIDS. He, he has definitely AIDS. Has AIDS. Oh, yeah. First of all, I've done a Brazilian threesome. I paid for it, but I did it. Same thing. Wow, that was beautiful. Uh, um, Can't get really. AIDS twice. That's the joy of AIDS. What? Yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> How about if they? I wonder now that they can kind of cure AIDS. If someone just went back and got a brand new, they AIDS. come up with a new strain. A mm. new a string. A strain. New strand. 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 The new AIDS five S. A five S. <laughs> The five, the the big, the bigger screen aids. <laughs> They'll there's find a, a way to kill the There's a better gaze. camera aids. <laughs> <laughs> the multitasking. I'll do another one. Comedy three. Aids with Siri. If you don't take those glasses off, I w I'm going to pay Dante a three thousand dollars <laughs> to smash you your face. face. Yeah, Monroe, take your stupid glasses off. Not him. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking, fucking black yeah. nerd comedy. Go fuck yourself. Uh, oh! <laughs> Blurred alert. Blurred. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> those glasses really fucking they're give you an attitude. They're bugging me, man. Uh, of course yeah. they're bugging you because they're fucking. They, sh they were worn by a woman in Beverly Hills Cop <laughs> Two. <laughs> but he's just like a reggaeton artist. Yeah. Uh, you fucking Chanel homo. <laughs> hey, like Daddy a, Yankee. He's just he's just like Pitbull. He's like Pitbull. I yeah. know. Oh, no, he's come not. on, Pitbull's been on TV. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's the best part is he, he, when he was on Last Comic Standing, I was happy for him. He's like, yeah, man, this night, you know, everybody watch. And he went and told us. That was the best. And they edited him. Would they he edit goes, him out? I'm watching tonight. And he was <laughs> it wasn't the night. No, no, he, he, they emailed him the wrong night. <laughs> yeah, they emailed me the week before. They were like, yeah, you're on, you're on this week's second segment. And I was like, I wasn't going to tell anybody because I didn't want to. I've heard so many stories about you getting edited yeah. out. So I wasn't going to tell anybody. But they emailed me. And I was like, Dude, you know what? I'm going to tell my aunt. She's 75. She's going to die in a couple years. She yeah. needs to see me on TV at one point. 75. So I called her. shitty genetic she has. Yeah. Yeah. I remember the time. Puerto Rican. He's Puerto Rican. Oh, okay. She's actually 78. Uh, so I called her up. I tell her, and then they fucking edited me out. And then, by the way, she didn't even call me for like. She didn't call me. Yeah, of course it, was, it was more embarrassing for her. She didn't want to, have to face me. First of all, it's more embarrassing for you that she was going to watch initially. <laughs> right? If she's 78, she's going to bed at 6. She's not staying up to see you get kicked off something. <laughs> Again. Well, that's exactly I'd the stay point. Up for that, though. It's like I'm making my poor aunt stay up till 10 o'clock at night to watch the last comic. No. It's like she's and never watched primetime yeah, TV. That's my point. Is she comes didn't. on at 10. <laughs> she wasn't going to. If you were on at fucking 4 in the afternoon, I don't think she'd watch you. <laughs> You might stay up for evening shade. <laughs> That's about it. Or, or jailed. <laughs> uh, you look like Porter Robocop. <laughs> ah, there it is. Ding, 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 ding. Oh. <laughs> oh, Dante's not making jokes on this one, huh? Oh. oh. <laughs> Uh, hey, first oh, of all, don't tickle him. Oh, yeah. all right? He's don't still a little scared of him. Don't fucking smash him and then tickle him uh. to get him on your side <laughs> like a fucking lion. <laughs> By the way, did you see that the video lion? of the lions fucking I did. attacking the lion tamer? No. Yeah, finish that sentence, you fucking degenerate. You see the lion fucking... <laughs> Keep yeah. going. You said fucking like some. All right, whatever. See the lion fucking that guy. It was a whole other video. <laughs> it's a different video, Bob. You know somebody <laughs> fucked a lion. There's somebody fucked a lion. I think there's some. We look. We fucked horses. We fucked goats. We fucked sheep. They fucked dogs. Somebody fucked a chicken. They somebody tried to fuck a lion. You have to fuck a lion uh, when they sleep. I don't know. Well, I don't think you fuck them when they sleep. I think you tranquilize them. I think you catch a lion mm -hmm. and you trank it. And down. then you not fully. You want them. You want them. You want to. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean. You want some purring. You're not, yeah, you're not gonna get hard with. Just a, <laughs> Does that sleep? Yeah. Right? You need a. 
Does anybody get pissed off about like those hot young girls that go hunting? Like, there's that one chick in the media. She's there's like a one, nineteen year one old. Girl I, wait, wait, how hunting. are you gonna go there's from fucking hunt. the lion attack video? If she's fucking the to, lion, to fucking like to fucking this broad. What are you topic free my, friendly? My chick's been out of town, so I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos. Yeah, lo- uh-huh. is that what you call it? <laughs> it's called fucking shemail videos. <laughs> <laughs> we, no, we knew what you were. You gonna turn? At. We gonna turn the volume down on you because you hear two people going suck my cock. <laughs> no, you suck my <laughs> cock. <laughs> <laughs> no, you suck it. No, you say it. <laughs> All right, we're both suckers. <laughs> Isn't that a bummer on those shemail videos when the one of them's bigger than yours? The you dick all no, shemel no, videos. No, I didn't want to say it. But I, yeah. got, I got to watch this one Filipino guy. Yeah, <laughs> that I beat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they got some big ones on those ladies. Um, yeah, they do have some fucking savage ones. Who has a real big one? Um, what's her name? Uh, there's a fucking big one that I follow on Twitter. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I remember the first time I saw her dick, I almost cried. That's the worst. Yeah, it's like, what are you doing with that? Yeah. Like Don't, on a lady? A lady dick? Yeah, like you can't uh. even get that cut off. That would like, you'd lose half your blood. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Oh, I think I know who you're talking about. Uh, Jessica Kearson. <laughs> uh, <laughs> first of all, I don't endorse that joke. No one does. I make fun of her all the time. People always go, "Whoa, easy, buddy." Yeah, because she's a really awesome person. Yeah. Well, so is Lewis, but we should. No, on he's him. not. Oh, that's right. I he's one of the worst. He's rolling in with cool lady. Mo- he has cool Modi glasses on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Lady Gaga glasses. That's a fucking. All right. I didn't think. How much did they? If cost? you thought cool Modi didn't work, and you thought Lady Gaga was because work it got out. rhinestones on the side. Yeah, so no, it does it? Yeah. yeah it got Thank you for no, saving my bomb. How much, how much teamwork it? makes the dream work. It's got like checkers. I'm gonna go like with Sigma glasses again. Uh, I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> how much they cost, <laughs> Lewis? What do you got? Five uh, bucks. Say, let me take some photos. Anybody in the chat room there? Fucking sailor. Nobody in the chat room. Ouch. Do you tw- <laughs> there you go. Get a gun shot. Get that fat arm. <laughs> <laughs> fat Stuka not here. We need some fat arms. Yeah, in the where house. is Fat Stuka? She's in uh, Italy right now. Eating, what? Eating ham. <laughs> <laughs> eating them out of prosciutto. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hello, yeah, more ham, please. Oh, more God. ham. I want more ham. <laughs> I like the glaze. You got risotto. Oh, I want risotto and ham. <laughs> Daddy, I want more ham and I want it now. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking cow. You know how hot she is out there right now? Uh. Just sodium in her neck and fucking under her fucking armpits. Uh, yeah. Just fucking snorting spaghetti. Uh, she's just sucking that uncircumcised, <laughs> crooked Italian cock. Oh, uh, yeah. She's blowing a guy on a Vespa right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's blowing a pickpocket right now. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Thank God she's just making Australians uh. look bad, though. Uh. Oh, shit, you bought a pickpocket at the airport. <laughs> I did not take a, no, your wallet. <laughs> you took it, I know I'm going to suck your dick in your know. I'm going to suck your dick off to prove to you in your wallet. Uh, my wallet, that's my passport. I'm going to not make it back to Bobby's podcast. <laughs> Please, I'll suck your dick. Oh, dude, how great would it be if her plane went down? Uh, uh, dude, what's <laughs> wrong? Why the fuck? Will you uh, take the, there, take the glasses off. First of all, take the glasses off. <laughs> I, how much will it cost? For you to take those glasses off and physical. Five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me. I won't let Oop. you, Dante. Dante, you may be able to kick everyone's ass in the room. Right. You but I will Maybe. Fucking, no, Definitely. I will. No, I said, he, I said maybe able to. What? But. What? It's but, a definite. Oh, please turn the cameras on. I will go down. <laughs> I will go down Robbie? fighting. Yeah, no shit. Whatever. But you'll go down. Gonna go down. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But no, let me tell you something, dude. Like, no, fucking. Oh, please tell me something. Norman would be an easy guy to just punch in the side of the head because that'd be that. Dante knows that I would have to go down fighting. He would have a battle in Luis J. Uh, Gomez. You know what? He wouldn't because I'd be helping him. As soon as you <laughs> went to fight back, I'd suck a punch you, you in the back fucking, of your skull. You'd be out of breath before you got across this table. I would. And the bandana goes to you. <laughs> the first one that gets it. First of all, it wasn't go. a joke. It was a fact. <laughs> it was a fact. It, was a it landed on fact Kelly fact. just out of a, uh, <laughs> out of yeah. a fucking It has instinct. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah, right. The bandana has instinct <laughs> to go to her fucking microphone. It smelled chocolate and fucking ham. <laughs> oh, shit. The stink of her last bomb is still on her mic. Wow, I'm glad I knew that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tighten it up. Move it further up, your mic. There we go. Um... <laughs> All right, so anyways, we're having a lot of fun. <laughs> I got to tell you something, Bob. I was Please. talking to Rachel Feinstein last night. I'm a big fan. With her or her grandmother's big... voice. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, it's good to see you, Bobby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at my cleavage. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your talent show, Rachel? Your talent show? <laughs> uh, um, but uh, <laughs> she was saying how... Uh, 
<laughs> how you used to be like a hot guy. I had no idea. She was like, oh, and Bobby was wow. at the cellar. We were all like, all the girls were like, holy shit. I, I thought. I had no I, idea. They have the headshot to show it, though. Here's the thing, though. I couldn't yeah. tell it was him. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. I thought when he brought this up, it was going to be something nice about me, and I prepared my psyche for it to receive a nice thing, and he slapped me you right in the used face. To be a whole, well, you, I mean, that, you had a good you run. Hot. Uh, I did have a good run. Now I'm just a fucking horse in a stable with a saddle. <laughs> and my <laughs> wife, straight. she rides me around in a circle in the backyard and then puts me back in the fucking barn at night, and I sit there while she's in the house with the kid eating fucking. Mac and cheese. <laughs> I'm gonna suck that dick. I'm gonna suck it. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna suck a dick. Get caught and go suck dicks. Why? Then I want a fan base. Them. That's what I want. <laughs> I want I want a people. All right, like you. You fucking. You got a people. What black people? No, no, not what. No, no, no. Uncle Tom's. No, yeah. nobody. Blipsters. No. Yeah, Asians. Like, <laughs> Asians are really into tall black guys with black fucking hipsters. fades. Black nerds. Um. All right. So check it out. Let's let's. I mean, I know there's. Pe- Is there anybody in the chat room? Nobody. Because the Lord th- is wearing those stupid glasses. <laughs> Well, we, you know, there's a lot of crazy shit going on. I did see that video of the lions attacking the guy. There was, was like, first of all, you know, when they have the circus, there's like one or two lions, maybe. Mm -hmm. These fucking lunatics had like nine lions in the same. The real ass circus. And they were male. Like four of them were males. Yeah. Ringling Ringling Brothers or was it not? I refuse to answer until you say it correctly. The um, <laughs> ring, 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 was it ring, 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 Give me some whipple. Um, bam, boom, bam, 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 Wingling brothers, motherfucker. Lamont, you big dummy. <laughs> Who that? <laughs> um, I, uh, the, <laughs> the Ringling brothers. Well, there was, the, and then this one lion, this fuck, this is what happens with hey, lions. Uh, sorry, we lost internet for some reason. Just let you know. It was Bobby's Wingling brothers dance. That fucking. Oh, I wish that bomb made the air. <laughs> it did. Oh, I'm sorry. We're recording. This is a podcast. It did. Boo. <laughs> um. So, anyways, yeah, there was there was a bunch of fucking lions in there. This one lion said, "Go fuck yourself," and attacked the guy. Mm. And once you're wounded, you got to limp. Once you're limping and you're limping backwards, mm-hmm. the they, other lions like, go, "Oh shit, oh, I'm gonna oh, eat this motherfucker." Wow. <laughs> they, they just, Dinner. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to. Once you're limping. You don't limp backwards. <laughs> and here's the thing. They had a guy with a hose that was kind of saving the day, but the hose wasn't long enough to go all the way around, so he could only save <laughs> so you if you were in a six-foot <laughs> radius. Oh, boy. It was a light right? mist. Yeah, well, the hose, the was, mist cool no, the ho- the hose was working. <laughs> the, the, the door was out of the hose reach, uh. so there was a five-foot run you had to make <laughs> to the, and there to was, the water? but here's the thing there was like nine lions so you couldn't every time this <laughs> also was they were just they were fucking them? one would come out this way and they'd hose that one that one would sneak these are fucking <laughs> wow. these are the top pre- this is apex predator yeah. shit King King of the, the, jungle. the guy is in like a fucking studded blue gay outfit <laughs> oh, so yeah, he's just sparkling slashed yeah. up in a fucking oh. gay outfit yeah he looks like a fucking piece of meat from heaven like god <laughs> sent down <laughs> uh, uh. and the this cocksucker like couldn't make it to the door oh, cuz no. he kept getting bit and he kept, ah. then he kept limping more and more. And they, and they, like, oh, well, then him. they, they got him out. And then they, he attacked another motherfucker. Oh. Just were attacking people. Wow. And, they, and 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 you couldn't get to the door because every time he went for the door, there'd be a motherfucking like, lion. Come on. Like oh <laughs> shit! But the girl, one, they wouldn't attack the girl for some reason. Interesting. They, they wouldn't go after this fucking broad. She was walking around like you know, they they just kept going after guys. Wow. And they would wound you. As soon as they wound you, you're fucking done. Because mm-hmm. the guy was probably a fucking dick. First of all, all those lions, they probably shot them in the head, and they're all fucking somebody's carpets right now uh, after that. Right. Because they let animals attack people. Yeah. But the dude was probably, like, abusive to the fucking lions. Cool. Well, you got to be they abusive were like, in order to was break them. That's what they do. I just had a topical joke that I didn't say because I didn't want to get fired. But go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, they don't kill animals. But go ahead when they attack you. Go ahead. Um, yeah, they do. <laughs> what? Yeah, I just got do. that. That's what I'm saying. They do. Oh, I get it. 
Right. I get it. I get it. Anyway, so yeah. right, let's move on from that. Let's. I mean, a lot of <laughs> shit happened. They don't attack women, though. I didn't know that. What? That's, they don't attack. No, women. they do. They oh. do, but they didn't, which uh-huh. was weird. But I think she was strong. Like she was walking around, like, and she probably wasn't a fucking cock to them. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Like she probably loved. She probably them a was more. on a period. If yeah, they're on their period, period, they yeah. won't attack them. That's bullshit. I you know. just made that up. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> wait, they, they can the smell the blood. But I kind of <laughs> believed him, though, the way he <laughs> sold it. Yeah. I was like, Dante's worked with lions before. Yeah. Well, he's an ex-pimp, so. <laughs> yeah, that's like that's like a... Lions and bitches. <laughs> this, this bitch got special sauce on her pussy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a Wednesday mashup. <laughs> uh, um... So anyways, um, there was a bit... We're going to wind up fucking talking about this, I, I think. I don't know how far we're going to get into it. Oh, boy. And I don't know, and I don't know how uh, everybody feels about it. And, um, you know, the whole thing with uh, Opie and Anthony. Mm. Mm. Um, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> He's been in Puerto Rico the whole time. So yeah. I'm recording his yeah. album. Behind those sunglasses. <laughs> That's when he goes to Puerto Rico. Shopping as soon glasses. as you put those sunglasses on, you hear... <laughs> 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 Kula! <laughs> slinging Goya products all week. This is what I hope happens after the show. You go out, you get into some fight with somebody, the cops show up and they say, take the glasses off. You go, no. And they go, take your fucking glasses off. Oh, you're going to jail. And then you have to take them off in front of all of us and then we laugh at you. Mm-hmm. And then they fall and I step on them. They'll probably break once quite they fall. A, quite a scenario. That's my scenario. Yeah, those glasses aren't breaking. I'm not going to let you guys hurt me today. What? I've turned a corner uh, in my life. <laughs> oh, his glasses are a safety blanket. Mm. <laughs> it's safe space. You're, You're projecting. Tu- You're talking you, about yours. Can you do me a favor? Uh, no. Can you turn a corner in your act? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> we get it. You're Puerto Rican. We like Lou FC. I just had a kid. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> You're bald. You're bald. All right. Yeah, we're bald. Look at my hat without the hat. 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 Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Uh, are you writing these down? Pickpocket. Yeah, yeah. do, do, do. All right. Anyways, uh, <laughs> can't wait I, for that seller <laughs> audition. <laughs> uh, I'd love to see you go on with those. Hey, what's up, Esty? <laughs> I do not like looking at myself in your glasses. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's up, Esty? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what happened? Opie and Anthony was a fucking craziness. Um, you know, you know, everybody knows the story. Uh, you know, it's it's so funny. Here we are doing this show, and we're having a fucking blast, and I love doing this show, because we can talk about whatever we want, we go wherever we want, all in the, uh, the, uh... Vein of being funny. Mm-hmm. The vein of being funny. <laughs> I think. Uh, <laughs> what, yeah. Hey, what he said. <laughs> what he said before me. I, that was a dramatic pause, by the way. Yeah. It was so good. let me have it. It's good. Uh, uh, granted, you could drive a truck through it. It was a little big. It was a little big. But you know what? It was a little big. A little big, but let me have it, okay? It let me have a couple. Just trying to help you out. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, a good friend of mine, Anthony, who I love dearly, was uh, one of the funniest guys on the planet. I don't give a fuck who you are. He is the funniest guy on radio, the fastest gun in the West. And uh, he's one of the nicest guys on the fucking planet. Okay? Um, Wound up having a fucking shitty incident happen in New York City, which could happen to any of us, which has happened to me in the past. I've had fucking bad situations go down in New York. You never know when it's going to happen. And you never know the outcome. But in this day and age, which sucks, there's no pause in us anymore. We don't have a pause button. There's no... Let me call a friend. Let me deal with this. Let me fucking talk to my chick or my pal. There's let's go right to the fucking internet and tell a million people that we don't fucking know mm-hmm. everything <clears throat> about our lives. Oh, exactly the instant it happens, which I fucking hate. I fucking hate it. You need a moment. You need a second. You need, you need that in life. Because we all fucking do and say things we don't mean. We all fucking get heated. We all fucking lose our cool. Shit happens to everybody. And, uh, you know, and it, it should be shared with the people that you trust and love. Not with fucking everybody. Not with random strangers. Not with the fucking world of people you don't even fucking know. And the fact is, is there's people out there waiting to fucking pounce on you and make you feel like shit, attack you, and, and tell you how fucking stupid you are for using your wrong. Just for spelling, you're wrong. There's somebody waiting to fucking attack you. 
Never mind uh, saying all this other bullshit. Okay? So, it fucking sucks. And one of the fucking greatest shows, radio shows ever. I don't give a fuck who you are. The, one of the funniest shows in the world ever, ever happened, has uh, suffered a fucking blow. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know where it's going. I support every single person on the show involved in it because they're my friends over the fucking 10 years. Okay? From Sam Roberts to fucking Eric to Roland to Jim to Opie to Anthony to the interns, Troy, everybody. Um, Travis, his family, their families, I know them. And uh, it's a fucking, it's a terrible thing that happened. And I know the fans are fucking pissed and they don't know what to do. And they, they don't know who to trust. They don't know what's going on. I get it. You're mad at me. You're mad at every comic that was on the show. That not, We're not, you know, painting signs and going down the street and, you know, doing what you think we should do. And then there's people that think we're racist and we're fucked up for supporting Anthony or letting him be our friend. Everybody's getting attacked for this one incident, one night. Somebody did something, maybe wrong, and somebody attacked back, and then you lost your shit on Twitter. And uh, can you? I think you should explain. Let me finish. Hang on one second. What the? Hang on. Let me finish this. You fucking. <laughs> oof. I mean, you're gonna interrupt the fucking dude on an, an, an Independence Day at the end when he's the president. <laughs> oh, excuse me. He'll probably be that guy. I gotta pick up my daughter. <laughs> 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 Something to say. No, you're right. I need you're to right. pick up my daughter. She gets out of school in a minute. Can you hurry this here, up? Here, this this is the essence of it right here, though. Okay. Is you can get as serious as you want in, in funny. Yeah. Stay in the funny. Right. If you're in the funny, you, we can say what we want because we don't fucking mean it. Everything we say, we don't. I don't think Anthony's a racist at all. I know him. I've seen black people at his house. Not many. <laughs> they were cleaning. <laughs> they were the help. Well, they, they knew a lot about Apple computers. Uh, but listen. <laughs> well, what you want to do is you want to get the gigabytes. Uh -huh. and, uh, <laughs> um, but what were you going to say? Uh, well, I don't think everybody knows what the incident is. First of all, you're black. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I don't think everybody knows what the incident <laughs> was, what, what the parameters. Stating his black I just want people uh, listening going. <laughs> what, what was go the parameters go, of the go, incident? The door itself. just buzzed. What are you doing? You got that one fucking... Wait, can we do a role Wasn't play? It? I think it was, uh, it was a door. I, think it was. I don't think everybody knows what the incident was. Can right. we can we do a dramatic That's reenactment okay. where you play Anthony and Monroe no. plays the chick that hit him? I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> I don't think I want to no, do, do that. Do it as Artie Lang I'll tell you why. doing Anthony. I'll tell you why. Uh, well, <laughs> these fucking blind girls, they're crazy. No, no. <laughs> I tell you what. I tell you why I don't want to do that. If this wasn't as serious as it is. Yeah, people forget that, we're, we're, you know, like I heard one guy on the fucking, you guys, the industry stinks. Ugh. It's like, God, dude, it, the, it, there's not, you're making it like the industry is this one guy. Yeah. It's, the industry is the business that we're in. The business, we get paid by the industry. We're all in the industry. The industry is not bad. Okay. It's not the bad guy in this situation. Okay, so we can't go and say the fucking industry. Who the fuck is that? Jews. <laughs> <laughs> no rattle? No rattle? That was Jesus. a perfect rattle, Jew. That's, that's a rattle time. There we go. Holy shit, was that a rattle? That yeah. rattled my fucking my, my rib cage. Well, <laughs> I there, felt, there's my I chance at getting involved in the industry. I just, I know. Oh, there it is. They're, they're I, not looking at you yeah. anyway. I just heard a fuck, like a Hitler crowd in the background. <laughs> 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 they all have their own rattles. <laughs> Hitler would have had a rattle. Uh, I think I mean, every, everybody was wrong in this situation. The, the, the chick, the chick was wrong for punching. That, that's unacceptable. That's crazy. She should be arrested yeah. right away. I don't know why she's not in trouble. He shouldn't have said they're not people. That was bad. Uh, you shouldn't have pointed at Moreau. I shouldn't have pointed at Moreau. <laughs> Here, you're less dark, so I went to the darker. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> 
And then and they shouldn't have fired him either because he did he did what he did. Even, I don't even think Mark. when he said they're not people that he was talking about black people. I think he was talking about those individuals, the crazy people oh, on the street. Yeah. So Man, to yeah. take that out of context and me and meaning all people. What if was what if he meant all fat bitches? Yeah, but what if he meant? You but know, but yeah. no, I think he did mean black people, but he meant it. In, dude, when you look, when you're angry and you How have a sight. No, but hold on, listen. I don't think that he's, he's actually. A racist. I don't think he's actually. Because <laughs> that's what you. That's no, what you, you are racist. No, but when said. you're when you're pissed off and you're in a, uh, a pissed off state, you say crazy shit and you try to say hurtful shit. It, you, dude, if I if I fucking get into an argument with anybody, I'm gonna look for the most hurtful shit you can say. So when he was right. pissed off, I don't know that he necessarily wasn't talking about black people. But I don't think that that has anything to do with his job at SiriusXM. Here's, Here's the thing, though. He said we're shit on the air, but by the, the way. Problem, I oh, listen, think, but in yeah. the, in the, what you, what you, in funny. Yeah, yeah, right. I'm a fan of the show. Yeah, in funny, look at man. Anthony has, look at, we all play roles on a uh, show. You know, somebody, Bobby's are buttered. I, I knew, I was just about <laughs> to say, somebody's going to come up with a fat joke. <laughs> I was just about to fucking try to thwart that. I have a hard time saying thwart. <laughs> I, have really take, I have to take my time. Say it in my voice. Wow! Thwart! Thwart! Lamont! It's bam, almost bam. like it's two of us in here when yo you Bobby, do that impression. Yo, Bobby! Yo, Bobby! Uh, Bobby, check it out. I don't think Anthony was wrong. That sounds just like me, right? I don't it think it's good. like it's two of us I don't, in here. I don't it's think crazy. he was wrong. Where's Dante? <laughs> I think he was talking about those people right there. Um, <laughs> I'll wring your neck out if you make fun of me again. By the way, that's more racist than anything Anthony said. <laughs> it actually is. I don't know. Look at Anthony's gonna come out and he's gonna fucking Anthony's gonna come out and do I'm a going show. To march. He's gonna do a show and he's gonna tell us what the fuck he meant. Now here's it. I don't. Ag I don't agree with everything he said. I don't. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. But am I gonna go? And everybody wants us to do stuff. You know, you're attacking other comedians for not going. Yeah, Anthony. Look, man, it was a fucked up thing that what happened. Do you, what do you? My I don't know what you're talking about. You're you're making these specific uh, what? points about. Yeah. What people have said, I don't okay. know. He wants we need details. Because right, I didn't so read. People are up what, on it. what? 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 Anthony said? Yeah, I didn't read exactly what he said. Oh boy, what did he say? That's well, a I lot of tweets. I don't. Ha I don't have. Do we he, have? He deleted them all. Scopo, can you read? I them? Don't, you know what? Here's the thing. But once something I'm, goes online, I'm, I'm going to say something. Here's the right. deal. I don't want to go through it again because I just don't. I don't want to. Uh, he said some fucked up shit about. He admitted that he said the <clears throat> N-word, which I think is the stupidest part of all of it. He actually said that he called her the N-word. You're like, dude, mm. you're not helping yourself. Oh, he, is that why she hit him? He no. didn't say it on Twitter. No, I think it was after. He didn't say it on, uh, he he say it say it on, on Twitter. Twitter. But here's no, he the didn't. deal. No. It doesn't matter. What he said you know, got him fired. It got him yeah. out. I don't think he should have been fired. I, think, I, don't, I don't think that. I don't think he should have said what he said. Okay? I think here's the deal. I would have just took the beating oh, and fucking on. shut my face. Why? And, and, that's not that's not but right. I would have waited. She should be, she hang should be on. punished. I would have went on the show. Uh, okay, fine. I agree with that. Call the cops. But I would have went on the show and explained to everybody what the fuck happened. And then I would have took another beating for getting my ass kicked by a woman. Yep. You know what I mean? Which I'm really mad at that we don't get to go on O and A and smash him for getting his ass kicked right, by right. a chick. Yeah, but black you woman equals weak white man in terms of fighting. What do you mean? That's yeah, a good like point. They could fight as well as a weak white man. <laughs> so, yeah, you black fucking women Indian? Kind of I want to see Mark man. Norman fight <laughs> Yamanika. White, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yamanika <laughs> would fuck Mark Norman yeah. up. I should be allowed one crowbar. <laughs> I want to see some more <laughs> fuck <laughs> beat the shit out of Mark Norman. Oh my god! <laughs> and then fuck him in the ass. Well, her act was <laughs> while wearing. His glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, her act was enough. Oh, man. I opened for her once. Whew. Really? So, that was a beating. He wishes it was some less. He still, he's Oof. got the bandana. <laughs> oh, okay. For everybody at home, Lewis already has it. Just in case you're wondering, <laughs> say something, Bobby. We don't have to. He's, we might as well make a shirt out of it. Yeah. <laughs> can, you, uh, a sleeveless shirt. <laughs> Ten bombs in a row, you get a beach towel. <laughs> Actually, you have to leave the show. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> and come back in ten minutes later. Uh... Yeah, it's a it's a fucking terrible thing. He's, <laughs> you guys should read the stuff. Everybody's read, read it. it, and you know, I, I look at. I, I woke up to, you know, uh, you're a piece of shit for not backing Anthony. Mm. I didn't know what the fuck to say. You know, I. Oh, that's what people said to you. That yeah, people were like, "You're an asshole." You 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 signed the petition. They want us to cancel our subscription. Everybody to cancel their subscription. To Sirius XM. Which, by the way, time out, can I say this? That's kind of fucked up because there's other can you people. Can that time out and just talk? That we, are, know, we know how radio goes. You don't have to go, hang on, time out. We get it. Just talk. 
You done? <laughs> Time out. I'm not done. Let me just finish. <laughs> <laughs> right, Dude, there are other people involved with the show yep. that have jobs and families. Like for you to say, "Hey, everyone, cancel the subscription." I'm not like I'm not even being a dick here. Yeah. No, I don't think Anthony should have gotten fired. But you you're working within other people's parameters. You have a job. You have a boss, dude. And when you there's responsibility there. And if you want to just be your own boss, there's nobody. In comedy, there's nobody that's completely 100% their own boss, even the, the highest, highest level. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I, it's I like, disagree. What do you mean? Who? Well, like Adam Carolla. Stan Hope. Is Stan Hope. Yeah, but there's... Joe Rogan? No, Joe Rogan has fucking parameters. Dude. He, he works network. for the UFC. Yeah, but he can, oh. he could, he can lose yeah. a lot of shit Stan if he Hope says some crazy shit publicly. Stan Hope, there's like literally four dudes you can name that have no sure. connection to the industry or television or anything else. They just do their own thing. But that is a very, very small set That's of people. That's true. We, we were talking about with this, this with the Sterling thing. We got into it a little bit in, with the Sterling thing. Mm -hmm. And the bottom line is whether They're it's animals. right or wrong, you, you get caught slipping. Yeah. With saying something, you lose your job. Yeah, That's well, well, I think just, I, it seems to me listening to the show that Sirius d didn't want to resign them. They were having bad contract negotiations, and, like. and this was like an yeah, opportunity for them. To, yeah, to yeah. get them right out. I don't think so. Look, I think Sirius, Sirius, why they? It's a very popular show. Yeah, and Sirius yeah. likes making money, and Sirius wants shows that have have listeners. And O and A, I don't think Sirius. You know, everybody's attacking Sirius too. It wasn't too much. I don't know where they go with this. You know what I mean? There was a lot of. No, but I don't know. I mean, what do you mean? What, you know, the, 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 Look, they're the things lose that all was the things that was said, and then what was said the next day. It's like, you know, that they're, they're very liable. You know what I mean? If something happens, yeah. you know, if this girl gets killed or something happens, they're employing the guy. You know, who so, would cite this? Yeah. Well, it's like, wh where are you gonna fucking go with that? You know, are you, is everybody gonna? You know, lose their jobs. I don't know what. Listen, See, here's I'm going to say this. I don't know the right answer. I don't think he should have been fired. I think maybe it should have been talked about. I think it would have been a perfect opportunity to because to ha to bring on the show and and have the shit storm happen yeah. and have the people who thinks he's a racist call in and talk and the people that support him call and l let's have that dialogue yes. and figure out where he was coming from because then you can always say look I fucked up maybe I shouldn't have said that or yeah. you know here's what I meant by that and this is what you know so Did we I could have some clarification we get no clarification everybody's running around with their chicken like a chicken with their head cut off and we're all <laughs> fucking suffering because uh, Anthony one of the funniest guys in the world is not on radio where he belongs right, right now today yep well, I mean, you know what I mean? point, at what point I do we? And O.N.A. is said, not on. I knew he had said the beast thing, or something of beast thing, and I know he said these people are beasts or something like Animals, that. Yeah. I didn't know he dropped the M bomb. Yeah. And the yeah, he didn't you, do it on Twitter. Well, he he, he didn't do it on Twitter. No, he no, just he put. Uh, so how did they know he dropped it. the M bomb? He admitted it on Twitter that he it. did. He said on Twitter that he had said that in person. You, you, it's a, it's a rap. There's no what? real argument for that. I, really? I mean, there's no real argument. But I, wait, 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 wait. Why? Why? Right, He's why? beaten. It's a word. Why? Why? Yeah, why, why, why words Mark's become more than Mark's up a really good point, dude. Like we put so much emphasis on That's these the words. Yes. I don't really care. If somebody's fucking racist in the world, I don't really give a shit. Do what you want to fucking do. That's because you're a dirty Puerto Rican. But that's, but that's not true. I don't really care. But I do care about if people kidding, are punching people in the I'm fucking kidding. face. Yes. In the Did you not make my shit racist? I was joking. Fake laugh, somebody. <laughs> oh, I missed it. But that's the thing, dude. Why do we not care that there are people attacking people physically yes. in the street? And and if his yes. retaliation... She should be fired. If a girl. If his, if a girl hold on. If his retaliation... Oh, that's that's let me say this. Let me say this. If his retaliation is him saying some racist shit in a moment of him being heated or pissed off, I know everybody in this room is said worse shit than that this person is an animal are you fucking kidding me dude of course that's just but at the end of the day i still know it wasn't specific to her though if it was specific to her i think we'd all be on the same page what do you mean if it was specific to like her? if you if it was it was in general and i think when he i do think people that punch people in the face in the street aren't people i think he's referring to her but cunts right okay yeah, but like as I'm reading it, we we, we assume who the that fuck knows what the it has world. a racial right, right. tone to it. We all know Look, Anthony. It has a of course tone. he does. Of course he does. A, yeah, but Anthony, a I, I, Anthony's not a fucking racist. But the thing that makes but him racist he, is that he refers to himself as a white. Like once he brings up, yeah, he uh, said that like I'm a white it, guy you're lucky and if then this. You're lucky it was a white guy with a gun, which is ridiculous. But I do a white guy with a gun. I give him a for that. That's a funny line. White guys with a gun, first of all. Um, are the ones shoot people. Right. 
black guy, if it was a black guy with a gun, he would have knocked that bitch the fuck out. It's all right. I, yeah. Well, well he, he would have knocked her out anyway. Chicago. That would have been world star. So yeah. it would have been a world star video. <laughs> That's a good point. So, but the, the, the point is not, you're saying yeah, because never. people got attacked and that's, but people get attacked without racial, with, 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 without right. racial epithets on. That's what happens. You can't go, people get attacked, so that's what I'm concerned of. That's ridiculous. Right, I'm, talking, I'm not going to say that he's and the then, worst dude on earth because he said some no, borderline but racist you shit. Can't say, you can't say because if people get it, that's what you're worried about. That's not what you're worried about. People get attacked all the time. I'm more worried about being attacked than I am about somebody saying some racist yeah, shit again. What are you talking about? about? What I'm so saying naive. is, in the, it, you have to look at this in the context. Dante, I would of what way rather was. you call me a spick than punch me. Exactly. I promise you. Exactly. I I agree, but the, there's certain rules. It's this. What's funny about this is, I said we talked about this at the Sterling with, with the Sterling thing. It's not black people that are doing this. This mm -hmm. is. This is white people oh, completely trying agree. to. Th black people do that, not have serious. It's exam. white they guilt. They do not care. They don't. <laughs> it, it is. That's what it is. It's, yeah, it's white they guilt. Are not, and the reason why white people are advocating uh, is uh, is because it's because they want to make believe that there's no racism. Mm -hmm. right. So it's like as soon as somebody says something, we we it, it's dispatched yes. Yes. right away. But they don't want to have the real dialogue. When white people right. disconnect, they need to disconnect big and publicly and go like, we are not with him. Where it's like black people don't really give a shit. They go, ah, fuck the guy, I won't listen. The black people don't care. Black people don't get outraged. The only people that get outraged. So what you're saying, can I just say something? What you're saying is that black people are not the people behind him getting fired. No. No. no not not at all. I agree with that. I agree with that. I agree with that. No, yeah, definitely not. I agree with that, too. We rarely want the heads of people. We were like, uh, if it's not public, we were like, whatever. I don't give a shit. But the only black but, people that want the heads of people, the people that, in, no. that stand to, to, to get uh, to... People that get stand acclamation. To, and here's the thing. Can Jesse I say something? Jackson. Jesse Jackson has said more racist shit than racist stuff than oh, Anthony yeah. Gumi. Yeah, but he also he went called, through it. He, saw, he, he also went through okay, it. Okay, great. But he it. called fucking President Obama the N-word, didn't he? I don't know. Did he? I'm pretty sure he did. Yeah, did he, he say did. my nigga? No. It wasn't uh, in no. sing <laughs> It wasn't in sing song like, voice. This nigga. <laughs> he's like this nigga. I, this, like this nigga here. Yeah, but he could do that. <laughs> but he's also quoted as saying, if I'm "Why do I love it? Why do Jesse I love Jackson, great Why do quote. I love sing song nigga? I love that. <laughs> Why do you say nigga? <laughs> Like yeah, what's, up, what's up, niggas? What? That's what uh, I, well, I go. I go all right. Me. Well, we want this podcast finished. Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> me and Monroe are gonna be outside marching. <laughs> 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 yeah, and then I'll, fight, uh, I'll go. You guys want some? I got free food. I'm paying. You I'm like, all right. I'm, I'm in. I'm out, I'm out. <laughs> now, there's food. <laughs> we don't know the first tech. The first tweet is the thing that we assumed he said the n word on, but he just used a bunch of like yeah, like symbols and characters. He could have been. He could have been. Yeah, but it could have been. It, listen, it could have been something. We don't know because I do the same thing, and I don't mean nigga. I put a bunch of shit just to confuse you on what I mean. Yeah, but you're dumb. Am I dumb? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yeah, you I, think those are letters? Because <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. it actually <laughs> says something to you. I uh, know y'all look like a tag team over there. Uh, <laughs> but the thing is, immigration. Anthony, Anthony, you hired the guy because he's a controversial guy. That's what a shock yes, jock does. So, so it's kind of hard to fire him. But for he's this. not at work. So that's the thing. Exactly. Here's the yeah. thing. Can't fire Here's them. the problem. Fucking Twitter. Yeah. yeah. That's Here's the, problem. the fucking problem. We have to let everybody know uh, immediately. Fuck you. Every time you're eating uh, scrambled yeah, eggs, just, and they get mad at see. you when you don't. If he would have talked about it on the show, I don't think yes. he would have gotten fired. I, I no. he, because he ironically. tweeted it. I've already said that. You he, have, we've he, already talked. We already said that well, no, no, three point, times. I'm making the point about Twitter, though. It's like you be, when you do this shit publicly, you're an ambassador for the brand. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he's not. He's yeah. Anthony with a little fucking yeah. check mark next to his name and a little bio that says Anthony of Opie and Anthony. He's not just a dude walking down the street. When you're doing that and you're yeah. using he's your an employee, 100,000 followers or however many followers he has, and he's fucking tweeting shit to them. It's a rap, dude. It's as yeah. simple as that. It's yeah, but I don't Anybody think should have saved it for the show, Here's made it funny. Yeah, funny, funny. Look, he he is the best at it. Yeah. He's the best at talking race funny. Yeah, he's one of the funniest guys ever. I mean, God damn it, him it's and just, Patrice. Yeah. you can't yeah. take away that. Exactly, Patrice. If Patrice was still alive, the same thing. Patrice was fucking amazing at talking about racist shit. Yeah, and uh, and 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 I've making you laugh. I've never heard him say anything racist. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So here we are, and we're fucking. Now we lost. Yeah, he, and then here's the thing, though, is that 
you know, the show is very big on freedom of speech, yes. saying sorry and blah, blah, blah. But here's the deal. You know, I, I think it was Michael Che wrote, and it, it made sense. I think it was him. He wrote, um, look, man, if I'm, I'm doing so really well, say- check out this new blog. <laughs> <laughs> just, All right, let's just put a tent over him, a bomb tent. <laughs> what? <laughs> a fumigator. Can we paint the, I want to Have you ever read his Twitter, Twitter feed? He just fucking talks about how great he's doing all, all right, the time. Easy, Spick. What were you saying? No, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the deal. He said basically, look, I understand what you're saying about never say sorry, but if I'm sorry, I feel like it's okay to say sorry. Yeah. Wait, that was Frederick Douglass. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was actually Booker T. Washington. Yeah. It, so it's, it's, I know you mix them up. Yeah, yeah. It's Same hair. True. And then you're getting yelled at for people who are saying you uh, you can't if you don't believe in the way I believe you you know I'm I'm fighting for freedom of speech and you're an asshole for not believing what said I believe. That, said that to you? Or? Yeah, basically, like on Twitter, some of these guys like you're a fucking piece of shit for not doing what I tell you to do mm-hmm. when I tell you to do it exactly at the time it about is, freedom of speech. It has I'm like, to do with how the of fuck speech. is that freedom for me? Dude, it's, right. I, I mean, it's, I got that's that's me. More you're idiot. my fucking dictator. There's like, right. more idiots yourself. on YouTube and Twitter than and they, and they have yeah. this anonymity. That I don't they think can't, that they can't get punched I don't, in the I don't fucking th- mouth. Listen, That's I, what the problem I I, is. I want to say this. I don't think these people that are attacking me and Norton and Opie and you know I don't like you know I don't think they're I don't think they're, these are those guys. I, I agree with you. I think mm. those fucking scumbags exist. I just think these fans don't know what the fuck to do. They mm-hmm. don't know what. Listen, they're fucking dying inside. Yeah. The show that they love, they listen to every day. They're fans. Being a fan, the word fanatic. Okay, this is their fucking part of their lives. This gets them through their hard times. And now someone has taken that away and they don't believe in the, the reason why it was taken away. So they're trying to find a way to deal with it. So I don't hold it against yeah, you, them. I don't you also have, I don't you hold also it against have guys them. who when we banter about race, yeah. we don't care about it. But right. people who listen to it. Who have that kind of little racial streak, racist streak in them? Right. They're going, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, they, 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 Look, they, I, they gravitate to it. We're all racist. Yes, we're but the difference racist. is, I don't give a fuck what you think, or and you don't right. care. You know what I'm saying? There's right. a difference to it. So when you when you are a person who's right. in where where hundreds of thousand people, millions of people listen to you, yeah. you 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 just if you get caught. Crossing that line, you're talking you about Obi and Anthony, yeah, not me. You get snipped. Yeah, right. Okay. You get snipped. You get snipped. That's it. Yeah. even the, like I we, we were talking about the Sterling thing. I was saying, man, you, you know, this guy was talking to his chick. That was some privacy it, too. It was some privacy, but you oh. know what? He still got caught. Yeah. So you that's get snipped. It was a fucking, that's a different. That was a black chick. Those bitches she snitched. Was, she wasn't even black. <laughs> no, she wasn't right. even black. Right, well, but that's invasion of privacy. She was Latino, like. Is he wrong for saying what he said in the privacy of his own home? No. Because we all say shit. Like, I talk about Lewis when I'm not around him. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking spick with his arms out all the time. <laughs> he really doesn't own a shirt with a sleeve. Yes, yeah, it no. stinks. I, I, yeah, I, Two-tone tux- arms. See his tuxedo. <laughs> yeah, he, <laughs> he got one blazer. <laughs> no? All right. I, I, <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I just can't believe you guys got Orny Adams here. <laughs> That's unbelievable. I think it's really funny. Everyone's everyone is, is screaming that? about... Uh, <laughs> everyone's freaking out about freedom of speech. It has nothing to do with freedom. Nobody's saying arrest Anthony for calling the shit the N-word. It's be no. smart They're about saying it. arrest you for wearing those glasses. Take them off. <laughs> I'm throwing water at your face. <laughs> don't don't talk over the lack of laughter for your ball bust. Uh, <laughs> you should take. I got a laugh in. from him and him. Yeah, yeah. I laughed. Not yeah. true. Uh, I didn't, I laugh. didn't really laugh. Would you yeah, have to make a <laughs> song about it? <laughs> I wrote a song about it. Yo, yo, <laughs> I made a s- two people <laughs> laugh in the room. My friends, my white one, my black one, and the brown one. <laughs> yeah, I'm Bobby K, and I'm on the mic. I like black people, and they're white. If they're my friend, that's as far as I go. You should I'll be fucking fi- should have slapped fired, Anthony. Fired for that rap. You should have yeah. fired for that Anthony rap. That rap was that offensive. <laughs> that was offensively bad. Look, if he punched you in the <laughs> face instead of calling her a whore, he would have been a lot more um, yeah. into his job. <laughs> oh, boy. There's oh, a boy, right and, place and, for you know, freedom of speech. No the black people, nobody's out. black. Nobody black is claiming this chick who's punching people in the face. Some fat bitch yeah. that's punching people in the face. We just Clearly don't fuck with that part of Times Square. Exactly. So you're aware that's you're aware that's wrong as black people. What punching yeah. people in the face? Yeah. 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 Uh-
I need it. What mean, the fuck? The, what does that mean? I mean, as I'm long joking. as he's not a little white guy, then that's yeah. that's legal. And also, the problem with the story is it's just all stereotypes coming to fruition, and people hate that. Yeah. You know, scared white yeah. guy with a camera, angry yeah. black chick. Then like five well, black guys gave him shit after. And but he, angry but he told black... them to slow the fuck down. Oh, did he? But well, there he was, was no... packing. Yeah. yeah. He's got a fucking. He's got a heater Nobody on. Nobody was packing. But why? Oh Ooh, yeah, he Anthony, 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 Anthony gun. walks around in his underwear, tidy whities with a gun. I've but seen why? It. Why did they give him shit if he got hit? I guess they heard the well, N word well, or something. He, well, here's not even that. You're because we are all Trayvon. Here's because it, it got racial, and then they go. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, yeah. They, they saw a black girl fucking hitting a dude, a white dude. Yeah. What the fuck's going on over here? What did he do? Right. You know right, what's right. going on? But, and then he probably said some shit, whatever. But he told them to back the fuck off. But here's the thing. He took the fucking beating. He went home or back to wherever the fuck he was. If Twitter didn't exist, we he'd don't be, have this problem. Exactly. He would have went on Monday and talked about it on the show. We would have made fun of him for fucking nine years for getting his ass kicked by a woman and uh, having a gun on your side. <laughs> you use your gun for a fucking, like a steak on your fucking swollen eye. <laughs> the cold metal. <laughs> <laughs> but this is what worries me as, as, as a what white the- guy. Is, and hang tight. <laughs> Everything. Yes. Well, because... You're losing. <laughs> it's not your year anymore. <laughs> like a scared know, little bunny. Hang on. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me get this out. But so I'm cubes. all about equality. It should be fair. So, all right. If... I'm not. It's not fair, though. No, it's not fair. Well, it it's isn't. Not You're fair. right. None of it is fair. None, None of, it of it is it, fair. No. Nothing of life is fair. He should have just walked away instead of trying to... Argue and I want to hear his point. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Civil rights classes. It's it's not you, you guys. It's not black people. It's, <laughs> the white, it's the white people you were talking about. It's the white people who make this all bullshit. Yeah, you know, we want to feel push. better. White guilt. That's yeah. the problem. Because if this keeps happening, where any race can hurt a white person or whatever, and then if they shit on it, they're in trouble. It's not good for society. And I'm not Did saying white or black. Not. Can I say something? Do you know why I didn't call the cops? Why? Because she said, and this is in his tweets, if. If he did, she would say, you sexually Oh, so she's just a now, shitty person. I, can I say something? Uh, the night I got home with my child, the day I got home from the hospital with him, uh, it's been two days. It was I was exhausted. I was fucking out of it. I got this brand new baby boy. My whole life just literally flipped upside down into this new life. I'm walking my dogs. It's one o'clock in the morning. And this black dude, homeless guy, uh, checking the cans. I'm on the phone talking to somebody about this experience I just went through, and uh, he kicked my dog. Wow. He kicked one uh-huh. of my dogs. I hear my dog yelp. I'm like, what the fuck? <clears throat> he goes, you watch your dog, motherfucker. I went, what the fuck? And I immediately knows. You don't fucking nose to nose. You don't fucking kick my animal. Would you fucking pay attention to your fucking dog? I don't give a fuck. You, don't, you saw him. You don't f- yelling back and forth. And when he saw, I brought, I brought it to the next level where I was like, I'm going to fucking... I'm going to fucking murder you right the fuck now. And he went, oh, really? Because you hate niggers? Because uh. you hate black people? That's why? He was I went, I went, what the fuck? What the fuck are you saying? Mm-hmm. Like, he literally went, okay, we now everybody's listening to the neighborhood. You hate make black. It, you hate. Make it racist. And he made it racist. I'm like, are you out of your fucking mind? Good job. <laughs> <laughs> you handled that well. <laughs> that guy is right, right, we're right the to f- the handbook, Monroe. <laughs> is no. It, is it, <laughs> no, just, it's not. What the fuck is that? Explain that to me. Dude, That's not look, everybody, it's man. Free. It's not everybody, but it's Dude, a how, way. How, you want to, can I say something, though? Yeah. If, now, black people. Can you just say something without saying Black that? P- Black people are walking <laughs> by, okay? And they hear that, right. and then they see me fucking KO this fuck and start beating the shit out of him. Or hit, you know what I'm saying? I I heard this guy say he some, he right, hates right. black people. Right. That's what the fuck is said. Yeah. So right, I'm let I'm me, fucking let me out. You, let me I'm, give you. The, I'm out at that point. I give you a better story. I'm I'm I'm, I'm doing a spot. Yamanika's. <laughs> you kick some fat white guy's dog, and what happened? No. <laughs> Yamanika's on stage. The, uh, this that drunk, was good drunk one. couple from Florida. If you Florida. weren't wearing those shitty glasses, people would like you more and laugh better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this this what this, this uh, white couple from Florida's on. Uh, on stage, and they're drunk, and they keep yelling stuff out there, heckling, ye- yelling stuff, heckling back and forth. She's talking to them, talking to them. Finally, she tells them, get the fuck out, right? So the guy goes, fuck this nigger shit. Oh, right? wow. But he gets, he says, fuck this nigger shit, and he walks out the room, and he says, fuck that. I don't have to deal with this nigger, these fucking niggers like that. And I'm sitting at the bar when he says it. Yeah. So I go, what the fuck did you say? Uh-oh. And he goes, he goes, uh... Uh, not you. Her. <laughs> I go. I don't give a fuck who you said it to. I go. So they go. 
<clears throat> yeah, look, just pay your bill. I said, just pay your fucking bill. He goes, I, I didn't mean you. I meant her. Uh, I apologize. I, he's in uh, because now he's yep. intimidated. Yep. So I fucking ran like a scared white woman. You did Be not. I did. Too. I fucking left. Wow, you didn't run. I I, I, but hold I on. skipped. I think the lesson, of, <laughs> the lesson of the no, is though, no, you can you can somebody a nigger, but you can't punch them in the face. That is the law. I'm sorry. That's, that's just, a good point. This, good is, point. Mm -hmm. this is just society. I'm, but you can get punched. Sucks. But you can get punched in the face for calling somebody. Of course a you can. And that is the fucking layout of the land. Let me tell you the something. Layout you the layout of the the what? The if lay of the land. That's, the lay, a, that's the his lay, new rap album. It's the lay of the land. You fucking dumb. The layout of the lamb. You're a Nyack Regan. You're putting them between a rock and a soft place. <laughs> yeah. You, you, you that's like, that's you like call... killing two stones with one bird. <laughs> you <laughs> fucking dumb Nyack. Don't put the horse before the buggy. <laughs> <laughs> you here's the thing: if you call somebody an N word, yeah. they they're risking getting punched in the face. But if you're just talking about the legal side of things, no, if the cops come, yeah, all day long in front of you, he can call you the N word. Now here's what I would have done next time. This is what I learned from this. Wow. My the dialogue that I had with him right. was what was fucked up because then he could ID me. When I heard him say the N bomb, I should have punched him in the face, knocked him out, rocked him so he wouldn't have believed he wouldn't have been able to remember anything, and then left. And they would have been, he would have been like the big guy. The f I just, I'm gonna, and I'd have been gone. I mean, right. he would have, by the way, they, they would have ID'd you in three minutes flat. <laughs> yeah, he had a bone in his ear. No, they, <laughs> he left in a big black bam, bam. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Bam Bam Flintstone. He talked yeah. about yeah. anal a lot. Yeah, he, he, he was like an all black Harley Davidson with a sidecar. Yeah. <laughs> he, he walked like a midget. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you. Uh, I listen, boy. we're going to take a break and we're going to come back with this <laughs> black attack. Uh, ha, ha. Uh, right, <laughs> right after these uh, commercial messages. You guys stay in uh, watching live. Thanks for spread the word. Retweet it. Uh, you guys are listening to the podcast this Monday. We'll be right back. All right. Good talk. Good talk. Yeah. All right. It's losing. Hang on. Hang on. Everybody. Luis Gomez is talking. Hang on, everybody. Right now, we have Keith Robinson on speakerphone. Go ahead. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> What's going on? Are you about that monkey life? Thursday hey. night? Motherfucking midnight? Hang, hang on one second. I don't, <laughs> hang on. Monkey. I'm going to put you on the actual board. Hang on. Where is this fucking board? No, no, no. I'll show you. Where is it? you got to unplug two channels. It's, still, it's not where I'm at. Right, fuck it. We'll just keep on this. What the? F Yo, hang on. Hang on, you fight. fucking old motherfucker. Are you about the monkey life? <laughs> Thursday midnight, motherfucker. What's the monkey? What's the monkey light? Planet of the Apes. Uh, oh, Monday, the Apes. Thursday the midnight. Apes. I'm in. I'm in. Thank you. <laughs> I got a call. Yes. I got the call. If you're about that monkey life, Thursday night midnight, you better be there. I'm in. Keith Robinson, you're inviting me to go see Planet of the Apes, part two. Absolutely. On Thursday night. Yeah. Thursday night, Shut motherfucker. Up. Key, hey, Scopo. I'm in. Are you? So uh, you? you about that monkey life? Be there. I'm in monkey yeah. life. Do we call it monkey life? <laughs> Are you about that monkey life? M Mookie life? <laughs> motherfucker. What, what, I don't want to get in trouble. What do we call it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you know what it is. You, know, you think I, I don't want to be in trouble. Are you about the monkey life? I'm about monkey I'm life. <laughs> Is it monkey life? Right, it's monkey life. I'm in for monkey life. What's Yo, up, son? Go, right. 84th Street and Broadway. There you go. I'll put you in for monkey life. But you got to get the tickets like now. Yeah, we usually go to All Lincoln right. Square. Get the, the, Keith, get the tickets. 84th Street and Broadway. No, motherfucker. 68th Street and Broadway. You're dumb. Lincoln Square. You're dumb. Oh, Lincoln Square is pretty dope. 84th Street and Broadway with the reclining chairs. 84th Street has reclining chairs. All white people. You know what? It's all white people. You know what? Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> I'll get them where I get them, and you'll fucking come and shut your mouth. Tell them go 84th Street. Dante said go to 80. Dante Nero said go to 84th Street, motherfucker. Tell that big heavy cocksucker to shut his fucking mouth. <laughs> uh, all right. Dante got about four good swings in him, and he's done because his back has started hurting him. Right, we'll give it a shot. Tell him we'll I'm give it a no shot. I'm the fucking gorilla in here. I'm the monkey tart gorilla, motherfucker. He's <laughs> me all the way right now. Not Dante, Keith, Wesley, Robinson.
Jonathan. <laughs> Your middle name, your middle, your middle name's Wesley. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you, <laughs> you, fu you fucking. Ones that are beat up. All right, shut up, shut up. All right, dude. I'll, all right, Keith. I can't even yeah. keep fucking yapping. Are you done threatening Dante? Yeah, I'm finished with Dante. He's bugging me with his bad back. No, Dante, stop pretending that he has anything in the tank. He's got nothing. What about, what about Luis Gomez? Luis J. Gomez. Luis Gomez, that dirty Puerto Rican never had nothing. <laughs> what about, uh, what, yeah. What about, what about Monroe? I'm hanging up. <laughs> Monroe <laughs> has tips. That should tell you everything. He has tips. What? <laughs> That's enough. He's got last comic standing hey, tips. What about Mark That's Norman? It. Ah, boy. Mark, unplug him. He's a robot. Unplug him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy. All right, I'll see you Thursday night. <laughs> All right. Tell him I'm going to call him. Oh, Dante said he wants to call. He's going to call you. <laughs> oh, shit. So they fired, uh, they fired Chael from his broadcast. Yeah. You go, all right, dude. Like, no, it sucks. There's Everybody go to the bathroom. Way. We're good to go. Everybody yes, use your sir. phones. Yeah. It has yep. nothing to do with I'm one good. or the other, but you still are, dude. You all right, let's wrap it, it up. We're right. done. Do right. Oh, shit. I got to do these ads. Yeah, just keep you guys. The yeah, mics are hot. I don't feel like turning them down. So when you talk, it's fucking cranking through the system. Even, you when, you, off, even when you whisper. No, we weren't off. We're Instagram off. I recorded it. No, I know. I got a lot of followers. Shut up. Just say yes. Once in your life, you fucking. Lawyer Puerto Rican. You watch Boardwalk Empire? Rodriguez and Rodriguez. That's quiet. <laughs> Dude, Boardwalk Empire is so fucking good. All right, oh, let's go. You it's you good. Really? A show that's been on for 10 years. It's I its last season. season one. Just All right, shush. Season one. Yes. I got to do these ads. You ready? Real quick. All right, check it out, um, dudes of the fucking You Know What Dude podcast. Go to uh, riotcast.com and go to the You Know What Dude page. And if you're going to buy anything off the internet, make sure you use our Amazon link. Uh, click right on there and buy away. Gamefly.com. Go to gamefly.com slash fucking dead. 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 And uh, get two free weeks. And what's the ad? Chris, what the fuck are you doing? Come here. Would you stop fucking around? What's the ad? Uh, Amazon tweet and Gamefly. <laughs> no, what is the fucking... I hate you, Chris. I, I want know. Kelly back so bad. No, you don't. I want her back so fucking no, bad. No, you don't. I don't want her back, her voice, or her body, but I want her work ethic, because you stink. You're over there. What is the fucking code? I don't know anything. The promo code is... The fucking tells me to do ads, and don't... I thought you knew the promo code. Dude, they're all dudes. No, <laughs> Kelly Kelly sits here and goes, make sure you fucking, you know... Oh, it's this, mate. This clock suck. What were you doing over there with them? What Dante, were you doing? Dante was asking me how to get the... Yeah, the, who the fuck is he? He asked me a question. He's a guest, and I'm, as, I'm responding to the guest. What is it? That's the chairs at the theater. Oh, my God. Oh. All right, yeah, so, we're going here. Just read it. Read the fucking thing. I gotta wait till Saturday you know to watch you, the movie. You're fucking killing me, you fucking scopo. Great reviews. This is supposed to be fucking right here. You're supposed to be right here, and then we do it. All right, all right. Well, right, what were you fucking getting mad at me for? You're over there fucking dealing with this jackass. Yeah, I called you a fucking bad back jackass. Do you, want do you really think that's necessary? <laughs> 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 These recline. Yes. Oh, dude, no, no, no. It's it crazy. Why are we it's not going crazy. here? I don't, Will I don't, you please don't... text mess? I'm taking a fucking snapshot of this. I'll, I'll text yeah, but Keith has, a, Keith has a flip phone. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, Email me. I, I just <laughs> went and saw Transformers before I came here. I gotta go, wow. I gotta go Send back. Send it to my yeah. MySpace. Oh, you man. gotta fight. I'm doing it over. Like, I'm going through the thing. You need to be here. <laughs> when I need to fucking ask you a question, I need you're gonna be there reading it and telling me. You know okay. the deal, right? Well, oh, give it to Adrian and let him do it. Give it to him. Adrian, come over here. Get on the mic. Age. Adrian. Yeah, Orny. Like, can we call start calling him Better Scopo? <sighs> oh my God. How about Common Sense Scopo? How about Thin uh, Kelly? <laughs> Huh? I, I mean, <laughs> don't get ben, mad at us because you're an asshole. Ben Kelly. I was just, I was <laughs> it doesn't matter. Okay. You're supposed to be I, fucking dealing with me. You're, you're wrong. Me regardless. No, I'm not. Yeah, if you, you fuck, are. No, I'm not. If you fucking do it right, oh, we're good. Oh, shit. Scopo told you. Damn. Are, are you gonna, is that the way you feel? No. Jesus. 
the best thing to do is say I'm so sorry. You, so I'm it's somehow, sorry. I'm so sorry. it's my fault. It's my fault. <laughs> what is it your fault? But is it my fault? Because I'm going to yell at you anyways. So it's my fault. So when you fuck up, it's my fault. It's my fault. No, it's so, my fault. So when we're doing the ads, you go read the ads, and I go to read the ads, and you're not here with the fucking ads. That's my fucking fault. No, it's my fault. Whose fault is that? It's my fault. So when I go, dude, where the fuck is it? And you're over there talking to fucking shit Dante and that fucking glasses-wearing shithead. Now I see what happened to Harry. Caesar is home. I right? see exactly what happened to Harry when he... Right? <laughs> Harry, Harry lost his mind. Right? This is like that old Dane Cook joke. Uh, feels like Ma uh, Daddy just slapped Mommy at the dinner table. <laughs> His joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can you bomb on other people's Chris, jokes? I'm sorry for calling you over. <laughs> it was my fault. They were comparing fat asses. I apologize. Let's, let's do this all over. We're going back. No, it was funny stuff there. Was it? Yeah, it was funny stuff. That was there. good stuff. Oh, Very sure. real. Yeah. Right. Because it was. <laughs> do you oh, want yeah. me to read the ads, Bob? No, I'm going to read the fucking ads with my new better Scopo. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the You Know What Do podcast. Uh, we have great stuff going on, including Amazon, a link that you can go to on riotcast.com slash Robert Kelly. And you can go there. And if you're a dude from the You Know What Dude podcast, you can even be a female dude. <laughs> dude, wink. wink. Uh, no, it's just a dude. It's not dude. Don't add. Okay. Um, <laughs> we have a link on there. And you can go to Gamefly.com, too. What's the story with that? Better Scopo. <laughs> Jamal. Uh, Riotcast has partnered with game rental service Gamefly, giving our listeners a free 15-day two-disc offer at twenty two ninety five value. Really? It's twenty two yeah. ninety five value? Yeah. What's the code word? Or what's the website you go it's to? It's Gamefly.com slash YKWD for a special offer or Riotcast.com slash Robert Kelly and click on the Gamefly link. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Don't we have something else we go to, too? We give the fans as much as we can here at Riotcast on the You Know What Dude podcast. You can go to Tweaked Audio right now, too, and get, I think, 33% off any headphone. And they have a variety of headphones, don't they? Yes, and you use promo code DUDE. DUDE. That's it. Just simple. <laughs> right? Right. All right, Jamal. And you know what? 33% <laughs> off. You get free shipping. And these headphones are amazing. Different colors, different sizes. Mic, non-mics. They're awesome to have just around the house, in the car, the glove compartment, or just in one of the travel bags that you use if you're traveling. <laughs> so make sure you go to tweakedaudio.com. Use the code word. Dude. Thanks, everybody. We're going back to the show. And we're back. Fucking Scopo. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is what fucking bugs me about Scopo. He fucks up, I get like, fuck you, and he gets mad at me. You understand? I, I think, dude, I think he doesn't respect you. You think? <laughs> I think that's yeah. the problem. And he called you the N-word. He yeah. did? Yeah. He, said, he said you and people are a bunch of animals. the ER, too. He the ER. Yeah, he, he what? He called you people? He said, you people are a bunch of animals. What do you mean yeah. by you people? White people, of course. Oh. Savages. That would have been a perfect placement for a fat joke. <laughs> FYI. Ah. When I said you people. <laughs> Elephants. Could have been oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Damn it. Hippopotami. <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was the best reaction. That was hilarious. <laughs> That's um, stupid. <laughs> so anyways, we had Jamal. Jamal, thank you for helping me. Jamal. Jamal, what's up, Jamal? Um, so, yeah, we're back. We were, we were discussing this whole uh, Antioch, Homia, and the ONA and uh, stuff. I think it sucks. Yeah. Here's, the, here's the bottom line. For everybody, it sucks. You don't think it sucks? Not for Stern. It does. Mm. I don't think it matters. I think it does suck for him. Because somebody in, in his genre got taken out. Some, you know, I mean, look, I think it sucks for anybody in radio. When these when, when when you can't when you can you're you're the you're in it the sucks it sucks for all of no us no matter what it sucks do. for all of us because you know f first of all we all got to deal with this stuff you know now you got to wake up and you your Twitter feed is just people like what the fuck you're a dick you're awesome yeah. you suck you die fat you know I mean that's my Twitter feed pretty much every day <laughs> but <laughs> you know it's that's, it's that's uh, your doctor. <laughs> 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 you know, it's um, <laughs> you know, it's funny though that you're right. I don't think it is the it's not black people who wanted his job. Is yeah. it ever? White never. Is it ever? Never. No. White people are killing. We want a people. discount. Listen. If it's something racist <laughs> happens to me anywhere, Yo, can I get hooked I'm like, up? Yeah, I'm getting a hookup because he ruined my day, and I keep it moving. So you should you care. get free serious? Fuck yeah, black people. Should, no, <laughs> should you get your own show on the Opie and Anthony channel. <laughs> 
the Monroe Dante show with Jermone? The one with him? Ain't racist. Why not? <laughs> the, uh, Amos couple. and Anthony. <laughs> ah, it's an old reference. I know. Yeah, can I, I give you this? Oh, please. please. <laughs> can you suck? Damn. Hey, can I you made it the whole show. <laughs> can you suck on it? <laughs> uh, you know who hasn't got the bandana? His fucking big old bad back. <laughs> That's because they tie it around his head. My, my bad back is fine. <laughs> That was a fucking great one, because you tie it around your head. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, that's funny, you fucking hippie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. That was, that was all attitude. You've been working in black rooms? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I feel like that. I had a, sh I had such a shit. I didn't, here's the problem, is I never have a shit set, but instinctually inside, I don't know if this makes sense to you, where yes. right, everybody's laughing. Everybody's you're having a good time. So you're not but doing just, what you, you want to do. You just know that it sucks. It sucks. You have stinking. I just place. suck. But everybody's like, dude, great. And you're, you're like, Ugh, then you job. look at that. Then you look over and that one woman realizes that you what you really are just a <laughs> phony, and you see it in her eyes. And you're like, oh, this bitch knows. And you want to just kill her. You want to go, you fucking cunt. Don't tell anybody. Don't fucking tell anybody. I'm a mediocre comic. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I really, I mean, it fucking, you know, I just filmed my special yeah. and I'm, you know, I don't know if anybody, if you guys feel this way, but you know, you get the accolades from people. Oh, you're great. You're awesome. Bob Kelly, you're fun. I've been following you. I've been to H and wow, that's great. And then you look around and then there's these people that are just are extremely fucking successful, extremely rich and they do their comedy and I, I see it and I'm like, okay, I Okay, I see it. I, I say get it. I don't get it. Okay, oh, but even if you a lot. Okay, you don't get it, but I'm like, okay, I understand it. I understand what the joke is. I understand the the concept. I understand the the chemistry of 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 laughter. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, am I am I am I just? Why don't other comics like what the fuck am I doing? Am I a fuck? Am I delusional? Because you're getting laughs. That's am I the fucking problem. delusional? You're killing. I don't understand it. I don't get it. Like the like. I don't understand. It's like maybe am I am I in the fucking my own matrix, where I just fucking I'm a mediocre, fucking okay guy, and I'm gonna make a living and I'm gonna get through this fucking life as a comedian. But there's gonna be a day where I'm gonna fucking wrap it up, and and I'm gonna you know where these guys are just gonna stop down here in the seventies and do a fucking spot on a whenever the fuck they want, and park out front and not worry about a ticket. I mean it's like. Am I ever gonna be that guy, or am I not that guy? And I, and the, I don't, I don't fucking know. I don't know if you guys feel that way. Well, like me, you kill, you kill, you do great, and I, I've, I, and it's like, well, maybe it's just not what I don't know. I think it's the, you get the guys who kill never get shit. The guys who destroy, the ones that just level the fucking room. They don't ever get shit. Well, because we put too much emphasis on how important it is to be able to kill. We're comics, and if you're a professional comic and you're a good comic, let's just assume you can fucking kill. It's about and the you know this say, how. Uh, <laughs> the, the other shit that's more important, which Bobby, you're doing, you just fucking your so, your show just went. That's it. That's the shit that matters. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Season two of Sex and Drugs and Rock and Roll, you're gonna be like, oh. Oh, okay, I, I just I passed it. all those motherfuckers that are killing because that shit doesn't matter. You were supposed to kill. It's as simple as that. Yeah, but it's like, you know, you go up, I'm, I'm like up last all the fucking time. I, you know, you go up last, you go and you do these shows and you fucking annihilate. But you'll see somebody go up and do okay and everybody's going nuts and watching. And then you, when you're annihilating, and everybody's, what's nobody's is, there. What's, what's, what's worse is when they're not annihilating, when they're just... <laughs> it's just m mediocre at best, and then and it's still, but you know they're getting everything. Just because you're killing doesn't mean you're a good comic. Yeah, there's no, a lot, there's but a lot of shit I, comics I, that kill. Okay, I understand that. I get what you're that. saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, I understand that. I get that. No, he's um, saying you're not a good comic. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm saying I understand that. <laughs> That's what, I'm, what did you think I was saying? I'm totally with Mark. What's your name? Mark Morgan. I'm with Mark Morgan Murphy. Mark Morgan. Mark Curry. Mark Curry. <laughs> oh yeah. shit! I I mean, but you go see a, like a. I don't know, a, a good comic who's kind of weird and they don't really kill because the audience doesn't really get it, but they're fucking hilarious. That happens all the time, too. Okay, but 
Yeah, but you know those people. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You know those people. Uh, you get like, uh, it did, m- like Mackie. What are you? Yes. Mackie. I love watching Mackie. He's a great comic, period. Yes. But he doesn't always kill. Sure. But you know he's a great comic. Exactly. But then there's other comics that are great comics that kill, and you, and then you still like, ugh. Yeah, you don't got to name names. You go on the road, there's a million middle acts that fucking level the room. Sure. They learn how to kill and attack. Hack kills. That's like... Hack kills. You know, that's a... Uh, like... For everybody in the room, uh, the feed is fucking up today. Uh, we're working on it, we, you know. It, it's this time of day. I don't know what the fuck it is. The, the down in the village, the internet sucks. Fucking Time Warner, fuck you. Why don't you guys get a hotspot here? Like you could pay for like a service fee for like a hot that you actually fucking. I don't know. Why don't you look into it? I actually, I made that. I have no idea what that is. Oh, fucking asshole. Go ahead, go ahead. So I'm just. I'm a. On the other levels, they think that's enough. Yes. And it's just, it's truly genuine. Bob, you said this to me a while ago, and it really stuck with me. Going out and doing comedy at night is like recess. It's fucking awesome. You're hanging out, you're having fun, you're shooting yeah. the shit, you're drinking, you're smoking, whatever you're doing, you're having a blast. And that 15 minutes, you get to be the fucking man and kill. But the rest of the shit that you're doing during the day and the rest of the shit that you're doing with your time is the shit that's going to bring you to the ne- that next level. Right. And that's where I try to put my time and my resources in. Because, yeah. dude, I, look, look, everyone in this room, I watch everyone with the exception of Scopo kill. <laughs> <laughs> like, fucking level, dude. I'm, I'm serious, 100%, dude. I'm s- <laughs> specifically about Scopo. I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> Scopo sticks. Uh, Scopo sticks. Scopo sticks. Uh, I'm still going to have a better. I'm still going to have a better life than Lewis, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, and you're, you're funny than Kelly. And it's going to yeah. be in your parents' basement, but it will be <laughs> definitely yeah, better. Definitely better. Though. Definitely, mom. Uh, I have yeah. parents, so that's a plus. Uh, <laughs> mom, mom, dead. I ran out of oh, chips. <laughs> mom, there's no more chips in the cabinet, and I ran out of coke. No, I'll bring it down. Protein bars. <laughs> oh, there you go. I need deodorant. <laughs> but that's you, that's I, you want me to stink, guys. Dude, you, I mean, dude, you've said it yourself, and it's right. easy to kind of like pontificate and sit here and go like, why not me right now? Right. But it's all, dude, if you sat, if you took, if you took, if you had like an out-of-body experience and looked at yourself yeah. and said, what do I need to do to become a fucking multi-millionaire? Yes. You wouldn't be doing what we're doing right now. You'd no. be doing a million different little fucking things. Mm-hmm. Right. And I think you need to be able to do that. And the people that are successful can literally kind of lay out a game plan for themselves without being distracted well, by all the bullshit when you're in it. I have a game plan. I have a definite game plan. I've had a game plan for the last year. Yeah, but year. six times a day you stop for a snack, so that's not a good part of the game plan. <laughs> <laughs> you like snacks. But you like snacks. <laughs> Speaking of snacks, <laughs> Nabisco is a proud sponsor of the You Know What Dude podcast. Dude, you would lose new- your shit. Oh. Dude, if Thin Mint sponsored this podcast, you'd never see Bobby again. I don't like the. You're such a dumb person. This is why you're not funny. Use Thin Mints. Yeah. That's why? the word thin in it. Dude, you could have used Malamars. It was funnier. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you're right. But no, Thin Mints aren't a thin cookie, though. Dude, it's and a thin mint. Cookies. That's your problem. You think that they get you thin. Nah. That's why it's the so word <laughs> thin. Ho ho. Ho ho. You got to use fat Twinkies. Snacks. You're Yo, right. Fine, okay. <laughs> Yodels. Uh, yeah, this is why you're not the funniest guy in the room. You're the last. <laughs> right above Scopo. Scopo sticks. Scopo sticks. Scopo sticks. Oh, man. That's going to be a funny suicide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's going to be right out the first floor of his parents' bedroom. He's going to jump up. Up on the sidewalk. Scopo's dead. Scopo's dead. Oh, shit. I don't think they gave you enough credit on that jump up onto the sidewalk. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. That was very funny. <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna run myself over with my own car that you bought me. <laughs> it's a neutral. It's too slow. <laughs> I don't have any friends. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Scobo's eyes twitching. <laughs> oh, fucking boy. just taking it. I got nothing. You miss Kelly, huh? <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, I I am. <laughs> <clears throat> I right, listen. Um, I don't know. I just the internet. <laughs> 
It's, the internet has screwed everything up. Dude. I don't know, dude. I think I think you know. <laughs> I tried with my even my special. I didn't want to do. I think specials, our specials, have become hour long uh, monologue sets, yeah. like a Tonight Show set. It's a four minute, uh, perfect, rehearsed, clean, not right down the stinks. get everybody fucking hour with the curtain and hey welcome and present how you doing right into the fucking boom and thank you good night and that i wanted mine to capture a fucking night what, at a what comedy you club do. What, what i you do. do what's up i bunch I, of horse shit <laughs> right well that's what i'm thinking <laughs> somebody put it well somebody put it because I was, I was a big seinfeld fan and they were a big prior fan and i was like oh what do you what do you like about prior and they said because if prior got kicked in the balls on the way to the stage that's all he would talk about. But if yeah. Seinfeld got kicked in the balls, he would suck it up and do his act. Mm. And he'd probably not do it. He'd probably just go back to his million dollar house. Or that, yeah. <laughs> I, well, I got million yeah, I got dollar house. I got kicked in the balls. But you know what? There's no <laughs> right or wrong way. It's, <laughs> well, it's I a agree. Reason, it's a reason to love both of those guys. Yes, yeah. yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, no, I, there I, isn't. I, yeah, there, no. But, but in that uh-huh. that example, uh-huh. you know, like I Stop respect so devil much. Horns. Devil You're fucking doing this to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> stop, stop throwing your yeah, Puerto yeah. Rican curses. I just saw Danzig in concert. I'm fucking really... <laughs> when do, when do your glasses you come off? Yeah, yeah, the glasses <laughs> are off! Oh, Lewis are can off. see! You can when see! You, yes. no, I when felt like I won off. the game already. You didn't win anything. We I won. Uh, you took him off. I won it. You won. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Put him back on. <laughs> I have more respect for you. Go ahead. What, were you, what was your point? Uh, but no, point? I really do fucking. I, I, you can appreciate something about both of those guys. The guy who's going to go up and just do his act and stick to it. Like Nate Bargatze is a great example. That guy goes up with a game plan, a dated fucking yeah, card. Yeah. It is very regimented, and I respect it so much. If it's he doesn't go to the audience at all, there's no pandering. But then at the other at the other end, you got to respect the guy that if What's it's big, pandering. Big J. Nobody's pan- Look, what the fuck he, is there's pandering? A, there's there's a difference in style. The reason why Nate. <laughs> Is funny in that genre of comedy is because that's who he is. Yeah, yeah. It, it's if you're not that comic, it's it's more about being true to who you true to who you are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Would Nate would to, Nate do good in front of fucking fourteen thousand people? I don't know. I mean, I've I know my style. I'll go out and fucking kill in front of fourteen thousand people. Um, you know, I can do a small room. I can do a little room, but I, I don't think Nate's style is fucking. A certain style and Nate is hilarious, right? Yeah, I think he's, Mark he's, is hilarious. Yeah, Mark's we were all you're on a nasty show with me. Yeah, and everybody was like, I don't know how Mark's gonna do. I'm like, Mark, Mark's funny. What the fuck? He's just gonna go out, even if he's not nasty and doesn't talk about the inside of a pussy. He's fine. Which, by the way, they don't ever want on those nasty shows when you're dirty. On, we did this this past weekend. We're at comics. They do the late shows on the weekends are dirty. Yeah, and when you go dirty, people get fucking. Upset. I disagree. I, I, I disagree. Never, I've never I disagree. seen anybody I've, get upset. I've, 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 ever. I've, yeah. <laughs> ever. I think if it's funny, it's funny. But um, Dante, people are afraid to not laugh at you. That's my gift. <laughs> <laughs> I just I don't know, man. I just fucking I don't know. I mean, I, have you ever just said? You know, I mean, funny is Mark, Mark, Lewis and second. I have sat in the in the yeah. car and he talked about how many people stink. We talk about who stinks yeah, all the time, right? And and it, what you're talking about is these dudes who stink that are just blowing the fuck. No, up. I'm talking. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying I think I might fucking stink. I don't know if you've ever, and I'm I'm being fucking brutally honest. But are you writing? Are you trying to shit? Are you not, getting up the, a lot? That's not the point. I'm saying, have you? I'm not saying that I don't. I, I've, I've, of course, I've done the work. I have. I just did an hour and forty on my special. Oh wow! Okay, forty minutes too long. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's it's. Uh, I like that one. So it's. Uh, I'm just saying to you, if it just go, what the fuck? Am I, I'm not. I'm I'm not I, you know I'm not gonna be there I'm gonna I, be I'm gonna be this, and 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 I don't maybe I maybe I'm not the fucking one. Yeah, I get or that. is there a breakthrough? Is there a point where something happens if you keep pushing and pushing and pushing and then you break through? Is it that fame? Is it name name no. the guy who has the fame without the TV show or the TV exposure? Name the guy. There's a few. You named them before. You the guys who kind of do it by their own rules. Uh, Doug Stanhope. Breathe, uh-huh. breathe, yeah. Lewis. Breathe when you talk. No, dude. Okay. 
<laughs> Rogan w- w- with the UFC exposure, right, that's right, kind of right. changed him a little bit. There's a few guys that do it without the exposure. So I think you're just waiting for that thing to hit, dude. And I, but by the way, I've watched you do it, man. You fucking, we'll be in a hotel room and he's rehearsing acting. I've never been with other comics who are doing shit like oh, that. Really? So I think you're doing the shit that you're supposed to do. Right. Like, uh, we'll do like, you'll do an audition. You'll take after take after take two hours. I'm sitting there doing it with you. And I'm going, I'm learning from that experience. I'm going, this is the shit that's absolutely necessary to do. Right. And this is why you're going to reap the benefits of having the show. But even on the biggest level, Louie, he fucking has his own show. He got as big as you can get without having that TV exposure. What about exposure. Burr? Burr has no show. I'm sure Burr's pitching tons of fucking TV shows, and he's had a ton of pilots. Yeah. I know, but he's And Burr is acting. He's in fucking he's an movies. A- he's acting, yeah. He's in, but uh, what's it called? Breaking, Breaking Bad? But I think Burr and Louie, they live stand-up more than you live stand-up. You have a kid. You have, uh, that's you know, new, a big though. podcast. That's, that's you have. Louis has a kid. Has I know, but he, he has. A, he's got a wife. Well, he who takes care of him. him. He doesn't love him. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? He, he sends to the wife. You know, he's divorced. Uh-huh. But uh, yeah, but but Louis became famous with his wife and kids. That's a fact. It's not. All just, right, all right. Well, he did. I mean, he the show, the first show, the second. I mean, he got divorced. Oh, that's right. Lucky no, Louis. I no. forgot about yeah, that. Well, I, I, if you want to go to but no, wait, but no, but I mean, are you? I mean. I, I worried about that when I was like, oh, well, I'm going to move to the suburbs when I have a kid. I, 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 I disagree with that. I think I actually became more, it became more important to me to become a better stand-up. Mm. Your jokes are better. The shit you're doing about your family and your kid is yep. the best shit you've ever done. But, hey. but, but, the, but I think that it's like I'm at a point now where it's like, and I've seen this in comics. Do you stay here and say, fuck it, I'm done. I'm not, uh, or do you... It's like this point where it's like, oh, shit, I'm looking at this next hour that I have to create out of right. fucking thin air. And I'm like, what the fuck is well, it going to be? I Which, think where that's natural. Though? That's natural. Where the fuck are you going? You like, know what gets me scared when I look at a guy like Nick, who's hilarious. Oh, yeah. Nick who? DePaulo. Okay. And has been doing it longer than everybody. And he still hasn't gotten yeah. that. It's it's the scary because it makes you realize how random and how subjective comedy is. If it's basketball, it's it's assists and points, and it's it, you know comedy is such a subjective. The thing. fastest horse doesn't win the race. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. And that is a weird thing. And it it, it it made me. I mean, seriously, I used to fuck this and fuck that. I do it my way and blah blah blah. And then I remember on the set one time. My acting teacher told me, he goes, you know who gets invited back? Who know who books gigs? Not on these big, the big, huge level, but on the mid-level when mm-hmm. you just book a gig on a people, law and order or like a movie. That they like. They go, uh, oh, good actor. Like having him around. Yep. So if 18 they, hours of shooting. Who the you fuck don't is going to want you? Exactly. 18 hours of shooting. The worst thing you want is somebody who is not pleasant to be around. Yeah. Right. Wasn't that like a famous story about Patrice on The Office? He would just fuck That's with he, everyone. He, he called me. Set. He called me when he was doing his his pilot. Patrice called me and he was like, you know, I just realized, you know, it's just better when you just, you know, you're nice. <laughs> I was like, "That's your revelation." Well, he said to me one time. He goes, "I'd rather you be uncomfortable than me." Mm-hmm. So when I walk into a situation, an industry, or I'm using the word industry, so don't get carried away out there, Twitter people. <laughs> Dude, he, that's a guy. It's a Jewish guy. It's it's it's, it's the guy from Tropic Thunder. <laughs> it was Tom Hanks in a fucking in hairy knuckle outfit. Tom Cruise. Okay, Tom Cruise. Thank you. Um, uh, great, Tom Cruise. Great role. Uh, so he said he said that to me. He goes, "I'd rather make that fucking cocksucker who's gonna make. I'd rather you be uncomfortable. So yeah, fuck but you." When he, but when he did but his when he changed thing, it up when later, he was doing yeah. his pilot, right. and He was auditioning people, right? And he uh, was, you know, executive yeah. producer. And he, he was like, "It's like he's he was like there's a there was a guy who was a better actor, yeah. but it's like who wants to be around this cocksucker for eighteen hours yeah, who right. you don't like? You'd rather mm. get a a, a, well, story a less talented actor who and somebody who you you, you want to be around. The story is I, you hear uh, Patrice. I guess he used to like just shit on B J Novak all day. Because B.J. Novak was a stand-up as well, I yeah. guess, at one yeah. point. Who's B.J. Novak? He's the like the head writer. He's the head writer. He's the, yeah. the guy. He's uh, the, um, the, the one office. guy from The Office. Oh, okay. And he yeah. used to just shit on him all day, like publicly, in front of the entire writing staff. And this guy was like, fuck this guy, dude. It's like, I don't care. And Patrice is the funniest. Right. But you kind of look at it like, I think he had a self-sabotaging thing in that sense. Mm. Because he should have been the most famous comic on earth. Like, Sabotage. Yeah. Yeah. Sabotage. It's a good fucking word. Self saboteur. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I, 
I mean, but that's the thing too is like there's these guys that sabotage this shit and it's like can't, it's right there you got it you a, all you have to do is say hello and good night i know joe hey Mackey, how you doing same way i'll joe see Mackey you guys tomorrow yeah that's is all really? you have to do oh yeah Wait, you saw I, big I, time he what big time what, what it happens oh i mean i don't want to say too much of business did. on the I air but did, joe but. you guys all know joe he yeah. hates jews joe, joe Mackey. oh yeah yeah he's Jeez. a huge self-sabotage say I mean, you really. kidding dummy the guy's fucking hilarious he won't do road work because he's like i only have a good 20 i don't want to d- disappoint the audience and they're like his manager's like do it do oh, it shit i wish i wish lewis would fucking have that lewis <laughs> 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 doesn't process. care 24 <laughs> minutes of crowd work <laughs> hot <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. Also, he's scared to. So, yeah. so what I saw, uh, So he just doesn't want to let him let anybody down. So his manager almost dropped him, and then he got last comic, so they picked him back up. Wow. Mm. I saw a clip, a YouTube clip of uh, of Kevin Hart uh, when he first started blowing, and he was in the blowing. Back. He was blowing Keith. up. Is that how it, that how you make it? Could do well, that. Like, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Got to suck some dick, man. Uh, <laughs> wow. I love you said that's so black. Got to uh, suck some dick, man. Got to suck some dick, man. <laughs> this is why my impression sounds like this. It's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, you got to suck some dick, man. You got to put that dick in your mouth even though how big it is, motherfucker. <laughs> suck it. Mark Norman. You're not so normal. <laughs> I'd suck your dick. Thank you. Uh, Hi, Bobby. Okay. <laughs> All right. But I saw this. I saw this YouTube <laughs> clip of him, and he he was backstage with uh, with LeBron and and the Heat. Right. And uh, and he was just standing there, and and all these basketball players, you know, they're huge, and they're all standing around, and they're like hanging on his every word, like, yeah. and and the girls that were with them, they're kind of like peeking trying to see and and everything that comes out of his mouth they're just like okay say it's almost like they're waiting for him to say something and and i and i was like jesus like he he has that thing yeah. it, it's such like that what you call that it thing mm-hmm. it you, like because kev was always a dude who was give me he was like give me the ball yeah he didn't he didn't care even when they went when you guys would s- smash him and s- he didn't care if he if he bombed he bombed he just was always a dude look i'm i'm taking the last shot and he just had yeah. that kind of fearlessness where he was like give me the ball give me the ball give me the ball and and you could see his you know you could see that kind of it thing with him when 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 you see what a big star he's become and i always always look at that clip and i go i don't know if i'm uh, do you do? Do you, you know? have it? Yeah. I Are you it? I don't. It, it's it's that. Uh, it, yeah. It's like, that, it, but if somebody even, if somebody said, if they said to me tomorrow, yo, you're it. You're, you I would, would like. You I would know, do it. Yeah. yeah. I'm it. Right. But you, and I would. In your I would head. not talk to anybody in this room ever again. <laughs> <laughs> but in your head, you go. I don't know if I got I mean, that. Have you ever done that? Or do it to sales. Sales one on one, dude. You project an energy onto people, and you're selling yourself as a comic. This is what we do. You know, so it's like if you can project, dude, dude, a good salesman can sell literally fucking anything in the world. So when you kind of go out there and assume the sale, and that's what Kev does really well, is yeah, he but assumes it's, on. It's, it's he, the next level, though. I no, mean, no, that dude is. There's yeah. very few people who could assume the sale to that level. He assumes you guys are going to think that he is the shit, and there's no, there's no question in his mind. It's the secret, dude. That's as simple as that, dude. Yeah. If you really believe it, that shit's going to happen because everyone else is just going to follow suit. It's as simple as that, dude. You're going to create the opportunities for yourself because you really believe it. Do you really believe you're going to make a million dollars? You're going to do everything that's absolutely necessary in order to get yourself there. The yeah. question is, though, if your if your comedy becomes artistic, if it if it is artistic, not autistic like Scopos, <laughs> <laughs> autistic comedy. <laughs> I wasn't yeah. listening. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, no, 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 I, 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 I zoned out. Of my, I zoned, I'll share the bandana with you. <laughs> I zoned out of my own podcast. <laughs> uh, I, I was actually listening to Nick Paul's podcast. By the way, I have his feed coming through. It's good. J- Jamal, Jamal, what's your name? Jamal, Jamal, Jamal was Jamal. reading it in. Go ahead. If you if you perceive your your act as this artistic thing, yeah. you're always questioning whether you're going deep enough. Are you? Yeah. Being as truthful, and so you can't really. It's but hard to. Let me ask it's you, hard to sell it at that here's the level. Thing. Do if if okay, if someone says to Monroe tomorrow, mm-hmm. Monroe, I'm gonna be honest. You're not the fucking funniest guy in the room. You're I'm not, gonna be honest on that too. I, I'll <laughs> third that. <laughs> Monroe, can you please fourth it? Here, here. Yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I think I know what you guys. Unanimous are decision. Okay. What I'm saying here's right. here's the deal. You're not the motherfucker in the room right now, mm-hmm. but. 
And that's not because that's, you know you've been in the business, whatever. You're where you're at. You're you got to put funny. in the work, though. Here's the deal: you get on Last Comic Stand, you become the guy. They mm-hmm. pick you. You are the guy. Yeah. Then you go and you do a couple TV shows. They throw you. You get your own. You get your own Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Okay. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, now you're the guy. All of a sudden, whatever the fuck you're doing is good. Right. Well, yeah. Whatever you fucking do yeah. is unbelievable. Whatever, wherever you go, people are like, wow, that fucking guy's funny. Yeah. That guy's legitimate. And then, you know, wherever you go from there, you're the motherfucker. You're one of the guys. Now, you can walk in and, and Chris Ross go, hey, what's up, man? That was, I seen your thing. Now, mm-hmm. did you do, because you have something in common now with right. him. And I mean, what do you have in common with Chris Rock? Black. I Norman, what do you have in common? Girlfriend. You did? Yeah. And, uh, and, and Wally was fucking dating her? No. Ah, uh, oh, I did that too. Um, you know what I mean? He fucked his ex-wife. Huh? huh? No, nobody fucked the wife. Who said that? <laughs> oh boy, I Your fucked his working? I fucked his daughter. You did? <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's twelve. Well, I got her early. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. But Norman, I mean, how do you how, do? You have these same feelings? Of course, of course. I worry about it all the time. Uh, I, I just keep trying to keep my head down and get up, get up, write new shit, and push, push. Yes, yeah. it's the only way. It's you, a, the it, feelings uh, are good. That's what makes you funnier. Yes. I, 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 These cocky I, guys are not funny. Yeah, you told me, dude, you're in a funk right now. I don't even know why, but you said this yourself. Dude. You told me a story about Louie when he got a fucking Emmy, and then he was worried about the next season. He was just kind of like, he was like, dude, I need to do an Emmy. And I need to get an Emmy, or I didn't do it. I fucked up. I didn't do as good. I've made. I've digressed in my career. Bobby's funky because he just got something. That's what it is. Yeah, you know you're Can I say about. something? You might be can right. Can you just say it instead of just announcing that you're going to say it? I, can I? You guys mind if I do this? Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Time out. You guys out. mind if I talk on my podcast? Yeah. <laughs> I think I stole that from you. Yeah. I think you fucking, you made me you. <laughs> you shang sung me. Can I have sung sunglasses? sold it. Can Puerto Rican glasses? curse. <laughs> it's just simple sales. I, uh, I'm a, <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Holy shit. <laughs> I just want to say something. Can I say something? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What I want to say is this, okay? You're I think, I think, what I think, what I think. <laughs> I know, I think you're right. I think Jesus that I, 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 you know, this show's going, which is a, <laughs> is a mega show. It has Dennis Leary. Yeah. John Corbett. You fucked up. Ooh, Corbett. Elizabeth G- Gillies. Ooh. Uh, Johnny Ells. Hey. Um, there's a lot of great people on it, and I'm like, oh my god, this is amazing. Mm-hmm. And maybe you're right. Maybe it's my my upbringing, my bullshit, where I'm like, am I, am I not fucking? I don't know. You don't. I feel don't like fucking you know. It. I mean, I was in a. I just shot my special. That's what I, it is. I was in you're Aruba. Did you just shit. shoot a special? I just shot my special in Aruba. <laughs> and really? In Aruba. Wow, because you look like a fat it Miami called, DJ. <laughs> it was called Tuba in Aruba. Uh, we both had fat jokes. <laughs> I know, I know. I went to do it. I was, I was in Aruba. I got the news about sex, drugs, and rock and roll. I'm with my wow. family. I'm in. My, it was unbelievable. It was fucking awesome. I mean, granted, Dan Adamo was eating my snacks by the pool, which kind of <laughs> fucked things up. You mind if I have some of these crackers? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're just sitting here. I don't know if you're gonna. Eat. I mean, yeah. you look like you eat them. You love them. But I, if I gotta have a couple, that'd be great. <laughs> uh, Hungry to be funny. I yeah. think, yeah, they also say Bobby cool. is always hungry. Com- Com- <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that one for you. <laughs> comedy, com- boxing, dude. If you're not in the gym, you ain't funny. All these, all these dudes who have made it, and then they, you know, they come back and they're doing stuff that you would all perceive as hack because they're not working at that level that to everybody that's trying to make it. Dude. And I, yeah. look, I'm not putting. I mean, look, these guys like Judd, Judd Apatow. I think it's great he's coming down. And number one, yeah. I, I th- you don't you don't like well, he's that. doing a lot of spots, buddy. He's doing a lot of spots, but he's <laughs> he's calling avails. That's true. He's not step. Last night he came in. He's at the table. They were like, "Do you want to go on?" Because I think somebody wasn't showing up. And he, he was like, "I don't know. I don't want to mess any." Is it okay? What a guy! And I was like, "Oh my!" I go, "Dude, I just watched three of your movies today. I think it's okay." Right. And he was like, what? Then he goes, "Which ones?" I go. I who I don't have time to watch three movies in a day. You're like a Predator, <laughs> Commando, and uh, <laughs> Terminator Two. So and glitter. Hold on, time. A little part of you. 
I'm gonna be crazy here, dude. You you, you kind of like you get these little things, dude. And when I, I've been going on the road a little bit, and I've headlined a couple times now on my own, and I get why he breathes past that part. He's like, uh, comes a couple times. Oh my god, <laughs> I, my I, my heart started pounding when he was saying it. It was, I just got nervous. I, I've been I headlining it. a little bit, and I thought you were. I have been. Go, uh, Those poor people. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> August August second, <laughs> Porchester, New York, yeah. guys. <clears throat> Don't worry, you'll come check me out at the Capitol names. Theater. If you you're wait, if you wait until the day before, you'll get free tickets the night of the show. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that tweet will come out from Lewis. Uh, anybody uh, who wants uh, to come for nothing, <laughs> the next seventy-four <laughs> people that tweet me <laughs> get two fares. Two pairs of ten tickets free each and dinner. Call now for Lewis's paper the room tour. <laughs> Come out for this is free always. <laughs> Come free. Out for, you're gonna still want a refund. <laughs> Bring a can good. <laughs> Wait, did I just smash myself? Oh, Come yeah. on. The, the, the free speech tour and free shows. <laughs> uh. But you 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 get you you eat so much Scope shit. Hosting. <laughs> Scope hosting. Scope. Let's go, uh, well, that's right. <laughs> Fuck you! I'm trying to work over get you, this fucking shit back. You, you finally get yourself to a level where you get a little bit of shit, and it's like, no, I don't know. It's like, uh, you know, it's like when look when Scopo picks me up an hour late every time I take him on the road with me. At one point, uh, I go, dude, I don't know. I get a few times a fucking uh, every Scopo couple. Did months. I pick you up late the other day? No, you were fine the other See, day. See, here's yeah, the thing, yeah, yeah. no, but here's the thing that he does. He's done it a million fucking times. So the one time he does he, it right, he wants credit. Yeah, no. and that's like the same. Stop. That's the same shit within the studio. Yep. He'll fucking. I'll be like, dude, I come in today. The fuck. I I tell him a million times. I want the lights. And I come in, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, dude. It's I, like the, but, it's like that goes, Chris Rock but bit. I, but this is good. It's like, yeah, but it's not all. It's like good. the Chris Rock <laughs> bit. He's like, he's like, we. I take care of my kid. Yeah, you're supposed to, Scopo. Yeah. You're supposed to be on time. You're supposed to do the shit right on the podcast. Yeah. yeah. I really I'm wish it's not on time for you. Oh, so last time, last time he'll ever do a road gig with me. Well, last time, all right. I don't, I don't need to do those twelve people. I'm oh! Don't Damn the burn! I had sixty-seven people at comics on Wednesday. You had forty-two. Yeah. I know. Oh! The, I know. The, I know the exact oh! number. Oh! Funny. Wow. Oh! Funny. Lewis is counting the staff. He had a, <laughs> he had a clicker. <laughs> <laughs> this guy I had forty-two people. I know the exact count. No, I know. No, it was it was like sixty something. Oh. It was sixty-seven. I know the exact count. Well, the people now scope a swing because he knows I'm serious. He's the, not coming uh, road, people from the fucking casino came in a little bit too. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, no, not a little bit. And the fucking bus, lot. And yeah. the, it wasn't like the sixty-seven people were carrying Lewis out after the show. <laughs> and the bus boys. <laughs> Like, yeah. I don't speak English. Oh, wow. Can you Damn. untie? There you, you got it. <laughs> got me. Uh, got it. Right at the end. Almost All right. Made it. Almost made it through. That was a load off, baby. Uh, right at the Woo. end, that fucking <laughs> chunky <laughs> midget <laughs> got it. <laughs> that is really a midget like, with gigantism. Like giant midget. But, he really but, uh, got it. Good for you. Uh, he wants to put that on his motorcycle so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out, man. It's a bomb bandana. It's racist. If you, if you bomb while you're driving, I'll throw it at your windshield. <laughs> It's Mike Tyson. Damn. I don't get this up here. No, you don't get that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we don't have a bandana for impressions. It was close. Close. It was very you got to leave it for the ones we let you but slide you get, on. But you get close. those things when you get to a certain level. I get why Crouch. somebody would fucking. I get why somebody would come in and say, "Hey, dude, I'm at a certain level. I ate the shit for 20 years. I I was the guy yeah. being bumped for 20 years. Yeah. I'm gonna come in. I have a parking spot outside where somebody's watching my car 15 minutes. I'm gonna do my spot and leave. Yeah. Fuck you. I get that completely. And that's, I don't think there's anything wrong with no, it. That's the game. I get it. Look, it is yes for Judd Apatow to not do that. It is very very nice and he's going yeah. above and beyond sure. where yeah. he has to go but I go fuck that dude that like I can't wait to be in a position where I can walk into a place and just and go shit on stage on right right not see, necessarily <laughs> shit on people but just get on you see, and you paid your dues yes. nobody you're doing right. it you're for right. three years does that what and, right, and, and right. comedy no, nobody does it even no, I was talking I say what no, no. Tim Allen said that in the I am road comic oh, I am the comic whatever it is he's like yeah I worked hard enough I'm gonna take you take your five minute spot because I deserve it yeah dude fuck it dude and it's a lesson and you know what you go dude Tim Allen took my spot that's kind of cool if he you're really a young doesn't. He really doesn't, though. What <laughs> 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 was that, me or him? Oh, that was him oh, on the fence. Oh, 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 he had a joke I love when I was a kid. He's, uh, his, his wife's like, hey, vacuum the rug. And he's like, all right. And she's, she goes out, she comes back, and he goes, she goes, what? Where? What Did you vacuum? He goes, yeah, yeah. She goes, I don't see any tracks. He goes, must have sucked him up. 
Wow. Not my bit. Yeah, well, you have to wear these glasses, too. That was a kid. Too. That was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those, the, the glasses. I knew it was going to be bad. The real ass glasses. Never, I knew it was, too. But, uh, <laughs> it was, was a was real ass. You know? committed. I was six <laughs> years old. Why would you say that one? I was we six. We had Dante right where we wanted him. <laughs> oh, you guys all love Carlin as a six-year-old. Yeah, yeah, all right. I don't love Carlin now. <laughs> Oh, he's got some great stuff. Can we stuff. get a photo he's of him? He's got some good stuff, but I'm not, I'm not like a Carlin guy. I don't know, dude. I'm not, I'm not I'll wanna... send you a, like a compilation. Please send me, dude. It's amazing. No, there's like two two, two or three. He made too many specials. That was the problem. Two or three specials where I was like, oh, that's really good, but I never fucking like I think I like Pryor better than Carlin. I like Eddie Murphy better than both of them. Mm. Really? Eddie Murphy, really? We like Eddie shit. Murphy better than Eddie Murphy shit. as a kid. Delirious was so shit. Dude, Delirious shit. and Raw hold up to this Doo-doo. fucking day. And doodle first of bits all, and shit. Wait, hang on one second. No, not, if, not for me. I, I, first of all, I, th- I agree. I think Eddie Murphy is one of the most talented performers of all on time. the fucking earth. Okay, but Richard Pryor. Earth, Dante. Earth. Br- <laughs> earth. <laughs> Welcome to Earth. <laughs> I thought you was my earth. brother. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, kid. Sorry, kid. Yo, <laughs> I missed it. Whatever you guys are doing is making me laugh. Brother, listen, listen, you toof. I uh, is, no, <laughs> um, I think Richard Pryor live in concert is the best. Yeah, the, the best mm-hmm. ever. You can't fuck with it. He comes out, they're still sitting. He's they're making still, jokes about that. It's amazing. That, that's why I love that. Yeah, that's why I, that's the one special, and I love his special that he did. Uh, in, uh, at the improv too was great. Yeah. Oh, the one we was high. Um, yeah. yeah, Sunset Strip. Yeah, the no, one, Sunset the one. Mm, here's the uh, thing, live know, and smoking. Live and smoking, and then Sunset Strip. Oh, the first right. show he bombed. Yeah, yeah. He, 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 walked, great, he walked. Great off. story. He walked he the walked fuck off. off and said, "I don't got it tonight." Sorry, people. That was amazing. Yeah. Who the fuck does that? And then that? came back and ripped it the Richard next Pryor. day. Next yeah. night. God damn. Did you see that documentary? Yeah. Oh, when he was at the gay rights rally. He's like, fuck you, faggots. Kiss my black ass. Where were you guys when we were hanging in Watts? We were getting hung. It's amazing. Uh, it's, it's, it's the balls like that. It's like, when do you have the opportunity? And have I ever had the opportunity to fucking, you know, uh, to step up and, and fucking do something? Or have I been a coward my whole fucking mm. career? Well, there, there wasn't. You know there what I wasn't mean? The yeah, yeah. Please, back then, you. you had the opportunity to do something amazing. Because in the worst case scenario, like I look at Burr, I look at Burr at Philadelphia when he walked oh, out there. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That amazing. was his. He had a moment where he could have, you know, you, Don Meyer took a, b- a bombing. Uh, what was the other guy? Schubert took a Jimmy bombing. Sh- oh wow! They bombed. They took the bombing and walked off. And what the fuck? I, that was that moment that Burr went, nah, fuck you. Fuck you. And that mm-hmm. moment changed his life, I think. I agree. Well, and I, I, and I, then, ha- did I have that mm. moment and I fucked up? Didn't you, did cru- I, didn't you crush that show? I crushed. But, yeah, I but, saw a clip but of that. It didn't but, matter. But that, it didn't those fucking moments, matter. Those moments yeah. have to come out of desperation. I think he was a struggling comic for 10 years before that happened. More than that, I More think. Than More than that. that. Yeah. And by the way, I asked Burr about that afterwards because was, it was such an impressive moment. And this is before, I mean, I don't know him at all really that well uh, now, but it was one of the first times I spoke to him. And, uh, I was just like talking about it. What an amazing dude, thing! Dude, you know, was. Lois, dude, I just fucking <laughs> I was up. I was like, "Fuck this! It ain't happening." I'm not fucking taking this shit to state with the fucking dumb hockey team. Is that DeRosa? I don't know who it is. Okay, <laughs> so uh, no, but I, and he the, the cringe humor guys gave him the the cringy award for the moment of the year, whatever year that was. Yeah, that was worth. And something. he was like, uh, <laughs> "Well, no, he was just kind of like he was like, dude, these guys fucking gave me an award for." S- a bunch of animals in a crowd. He's like, I just released my first album. Why not give me an award for that? Ah. So he kind of had the attitude of like, and maybe he was playing it cool. I don't know, but it's kind of funny. It's like, is that really a moment, dude? I don't know. I think it's oh, better. It you're in a, you're in a, you're in. Yeah, it's a better moment for your career. Dude, that moment. I'm and look at. He got a fucking uh, a pilot out of that. I mean, really? The, the, well, the industry were there. No, it's his own People, guy to fly an airplane, private jet, and everything. It was crazy. Um, yep, give no, me. I wanted the bomb damn. Oh, That's oh, why I did that oh, one. Oh, oh, here, take <laughs> this back, too. <laughs> choke on your rattle, you I'm fucking I'm keeping the push. glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you hear that sound for real someday. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I did the joke from the beginning. Uh, I did it at the end, and I got it right, and you still didn't laugh. Remember? Uh, the, the rattle? No, yeah, you, the rattle joke. got through it. I yeah, tried, yeah, but I just really, got through yeah. it. And oh, it oh, well. Oh, my God. We just end the show on that and make people go, what? What the fuck? People on some dude on the train come from Long Island going, what the fuck was that, Bobby? <laughs> I 
Um, yeah, you wonder, you wonder if that moment, you know, if you, if you like this, this whole thing with Opie and Anthony. Who knows where this goes? This could be the this. I mean, this could be the start of a oh, podcast. Who the fuck knows? Oh, oh, look, at Anthony has a show. Mm. He has a fucking show that it's it, it's fucking crazy. It's in his basement. He has a television studio in the basement. Oh wow! I pretty much was. I told Norton that he he built the Death Star mm. in his fucking basement. <laughs> I mean, he can go live on TV, have be anywhere he wants. Have guests on call in. It's fucking unbelievable. And that's what he's going to do. I mean, that's the beauty of technology is in, in the, where we're at in this, that we're in a studio that was somebody's fucking uh, bedroom yeah. uh, a year ago or whatever right. the fuck it was. So we can, you know, we can do what we want and not be told what to do. Um, but it's also something that where shit acts get, get, they get publicity. Like you, you, you know, when people say YouTube star, the question is, how many people would you have as YouTube stars if you had to pay ten cents per view? Ah, good point. You you are allowed mm. to view this stuff on a fru on on, on a free basis. Mm -hmm. That's mediocre shit yeah, that people a get a, to get a following because it's free. And then they take it and they take it to TV. Yeah, and it's I, don't, I don't. Can I? I don't agree with you completely because what I love about YouTube and YouTube is a fucking great company in general. They get how to do social media right. They are they are emulating the market, except they're letting us decide completely what the good shit is. And we might think you're that not, it's stupid. If some dude's getting it. five million views for farting into a cup, whatever, dude. The market is deciding. Bobby <laughs> funny. <laughs> but the what market is that? deciding. No, yeah, it is, dude. You're, you're deciding we need it. to take that information and go, holy shit, dude. We are, we have a, a, a true, genuine imprint of what people want to watch, and we could take this information and we can use it, just or we can go, just oh, it all fucking sucks. These just, guys are getting famous. Just because you'd watch it we on YouTube stand -up for two matter. minutes at a time for two minutes at a time doesn't mean it's good just because there's that dude uh, JJ fish is can't sing at all and this dude is he's got a record contract now Huh. Yeah, because it's the age-old thing, dude. Uh, uh, yeah, but uh, he, he Amer America's uh, home videos. What was it all, dude? It was fucking people falling downstairs. And you can't re yeah, you can't dude, emulate you, that type of funny. That is organic, real, genuine how funny. How many cat videos would you watch even if you had to pay a nickel a piece? None. You wouldn't watch any of it. I'd still, I think the ratios would be the same. People would just pay for what they want to watch. People are paying that's, for what they want to watch. They're not paying. Because they're, there are advertisers the that pay to fucking advertise they're in the not videos. Paying. And the advertise, that's the point. The advertisers, the advertisers are paying. The you point know, is, Lewis sense, is not making any money. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it comes down to. Yeah, because he hasn't farted into a cup. Or, <laughs> I don't know if you know. <laughs> on film, anyway. What did he do with the fart? This is, oh, my God. Enough. Moreau is back. Oh, no, I, was thinking, I was sitting there thinking of fucking like blood sugar the drop a half hour yeah, ago. I need, a, I need a donut. I need a peppermint. <laughs> the what a fuck? Coach I literally coach. forgot you were here. God damn, a, Jermaine where, Fowler's huge. <laughs> where the fuck were you? Just thinking. About what? Reminiscent about his childhood, his lack of parents. That hurt, man. Words hurt. That's Ooh. fucked up. That is, man. <laughs> Dude, that's yeah, fucked up. Oh, you got parents? Yeah, parents? yeah, they just didn't raise me. They, they just they don't gave love him up. He's got a mom. I was in foster care. I thought they, you knew that. They just oh, don't love yeah. him. Uh. They gave you up, dude? <laughs> no, I was taken. There's a difference between... Taken? Yeah. What do you mean you were taken? You know, Did parent, you ever see that movie Taken? Put me <laughs> in his, dad is, like came Liam his dad is a series of special skills that are... He does. Gonna, he was in the You know, this is, this is the weird uh, thing. You, you, none of you guys have kids, right? No. no Except no, for no. Lewis. Lewis has a kid. Yes, I have a daughter. You have a daughter. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wait, who was that kid you brought fuck? to the club the other day? She was the girl that punched Opie or Anthony. <laughs> fuck. Yeah, what, that uh, that would have been great. It would have been, been It wasn't great. her. She didn't knock him out. Ah. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, um, Just imagine Dante's daughter looking exactly like him with a wig. You want to go to prom? You mean Yamanika? <laughs> <laughs> you going to prom? You going to prom? Yo, put that flower in my bone earring. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, I, uh, 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 yo, I'm going to reach around and grab that booze in my, between my ass cheeks. <laughs> hey, blow it in my Bluetooth. <laughs> <laughs> yo, climb up in my Jeep. <laughs> you love my I, Jeep. I do. Hell of a Jeep. <laughs> so here's the deal. <laughs> I love that you know it's a Jeep too. Well, he's given me a ride home many a time. Really? Oh yeah, we've wow. had some hell of crazy talks. Yeah, good talks. Um, Profitizing. I, I look at my kid now, and I I'm, I don't get it. I don't understand how your wife let you come in her. 
<laughs> there it was. You know what, Lewis? I, I know what I learned about Lewis. He's he's a he's a counterpuncher. Uh-huh. Yeah, he he's a you fucking need Floyd Mayweather. He's a yeah, Floyd he uses Mayweather. your energy against you. Yeah, that's all he can do. Right. He's not a good fucking. He doesn't. He's not a good boxer. He's just a good counterpuncher. He can. It's not you know, a good writer either. A keto. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Why don't you do me a favor? Why don't not you a good person. Pour either. water in that Altoids thing and drink it. Okay. <laughs> you fucking low sugar foster kid, lonely on a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get Monroe a grape soda, please? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, a Coke. I look at my kid and I'm like, how could somebody leave? I would never. How could you leave him? How could you fucking treat a little kid like shit? How about dude, the guy I, who left the kid in the car? I mean? How about oh, that? Fuck. Dude, I, I, was dude I cry almost every day now because once you have a kid, it, fu- dude, uh. it sucks. Don't have a kid because anything, dude. I, I saw a blog today with the, the girl, she, and she's holding cards, and her kid was born without eyes. Uh, what? And I'm just sitting there. I'm like, oh, my God, dude. What it. would I do? Or she take Holy shit. You should send her some I glasses. Can't, I, can't. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take it. I saw the... Um, the little girl that left, the, the kid who got killed in the car. Hey, the There's dead. a little girl that got attacked by the pit bull. Oh, uh, I mean, I can't. Brutal. I, I I just don't know. Oh, man, God, that's I, that's the t- what they say. Man, being a parent is hard. <laughs> when they say being a parent is hard, <laughs> that's what they don't tell you. It's not changing diapers because changing dude, that shit's fucking easy. Okay, it's being able to Big deal with yourself. the fact. My kid always tries to twist over and grab the fucking thing on the wall. No, he's got spina bifida. Ah. Yeah, he's just Ouch. Wow, you really Damn. Missed Does he have I bobbed and weaved that one, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> you can't even see, you said spina bipeda. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking tried to make it into a rap. <laughs> spina but, spina bipeda. No, but it's like uh, oh, I'm back. I'm hey. back, baby. Uh, drink something. Stop thinking about your shitty childhood. <laughs> <laughs> It'll make a good origin story like Batman. They didn't have soda where he's from. They drank out of a hose. <laughs> what? But it, <laughs> <laughs> it might have been good. I just didn't hear I, it. I, no, 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 no. Don't, he nobody bomb heard it. <laughs> it's not a bomb, Danny, because nobody heard it. I don't think that's a bomb. I don't know what the fuck you said. Because they, they didn't have soda. Yeah? Because it was a shitty childhood. Oh, he had a drink out of a hose. Yes. I'm What'd you think I bad. said? He gets it. Yeah, I don't think so. He gets it. He gets yeah. it. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Um, no, but the point is, what's really hard is... The point is what? The, the, the fucking dealing <laughs> what with... What is the point? The idea of what's losing your... Time out. Losing your child is a really hard thing that nobody explains to you. Every day I'm worried that somebody something bad is going to happen to my son. Whether he's falling off the couch or a fucking car, when I'm walking him in the, uh, the stroller, if a car is going to fucking hop the curb, yeah. which happens oh. all the time. I'm so afraid of that. But is that That's fear what keeps your kid alive? Probably. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Yeah. Is that the fear? Like I think because the same exact aware. way. I think yeah. like my wife. As soon as she leaves with the kid, I have nine scenarios of bad shit happening to her and the kid. And I'm like, oh, is that the... F-? And I'll call her. Make sure you do... Make sure when you walk... It. And she's like, I got it. I got it. But is that fear, the fear that is keeping them alive, or is that the fear that is bringing that to fruition? Mm. Am I bringing it to... It? No, 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 no. No, I think... Well, no, I, it didn't happen, so it didn't bring it to the kid. But Lewis said yeah. that if you think it, it'll happen. Yeah, yeah but, that, that, but that's... It's honestly the power of positive. I, I you don't think po- uh, really? That, no, I think positivity is po- a special thing. You but don't I'll think that there's a real thing that you don't you can create positive energy in the world by having positive thoughts and and but it's really just goal setting. No, by it's goal it, setting. That's what it is. It's, just, it's goal setting. It's goal setting and having a positive attitude toward that goal. No, but you can bullshit. set goals all day. No, and sit on the couch and smoke weed. The, if make you don't goal put the work, if, if you, you don't, don't hold on, if you believe that you're going to be a millionaire, you're not going to sit on the couch and smoke weed all day. Yeah, of course you can. Why can't you? Can people do that? Denial is a powerful thing. I mean, I just. I don't even know if we're talking about the same thing. Oh, here. No. oh wow, he no. just fucking stopped you in your tracks. <laughs> no, I, I just think we're talking about. Wait, you just went da da da. I don't think we're talking. I believe in the secret the in the fuck? sense that those you glasses can... have power. Oh yeah, give them back to him. They're I don't want to hear... shank somebody. I don't want to hear him mumble again. There you go. <laughs> but no, dude, I no, I don't believe that if you fucking imagine an elephant showing up in your living room, right. that that's going to happen. But I do believe. This year, Dante's will, right here. You will do <laughs> your unconsciously <laughs> yes. yes, and you will yeah. create a series of reactions around you. Bring good. you to that. That's I truly believe. I believe. I believe when you think positive, you attract. Uh, positive. I it's, believe I can that's fly. Silly. Work hard. I you believe don't fucking work I can. Hard. S- no, sky. you gotta. But you can't think positive and Listen, okay. So no. let me no. think realistically. If you work hard, 
uh-huh. th- things can and happen. Sh- if shut you up. Okay. just think Let me ask you a question, Dante. And don't Dante, work Dante, Dante. I didn't say shut both up. Monroe, 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 listen, listen. Before we start yapping over each other, which happens when the guys are on the show. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> can we name this one Animals? Yeah. <laughs> no. No, I'm not getting fired from Riot <laughs> <laughs> Um what, what you're saying, you you don't believe in you don't believe in um, affirmations, where you think it and you believe it no. and you see it and it happens. No. And Norman, you don't believe in that. No, either. I'm but a realistic Lewis, I don't person. believe in karma. Either. Not, you don't believe I don't in either. that. No, you, you don't believe in that. No, you, I do believe in that. You believe in that. I believe in that. You believe in that. I believe in it. I believe. Oh yeah, 100%. Yeah. yeah. So you guys believe if you see it and you see it and you feel it and you can touch it and you visualize it and you you. Affirmation, jerk it, and you talk it, it and say it. It will come spit to you. On spit it. on it, <laughs> <laughs> finger it, just mm. caress it, <laughs> blow on it. <laughs> uh, it's you, like when, it's like when Obama says, "We we need hope." No, we don't need hope. We need to go to work. We need to do shit. <laughs> exactly. Hope is yeah, a terrible message. Yeah, but that's, that's, that's what you're doing. Marketing, though. That, all that is is a marketing it's campaign, dude. Or shit. Is, it, like, whatever, dude. I wouldn't get into people the political side of this. People all the time. It's all talk. People, but if people you, talk, don't do it. If you, there's no action. There's nothing. Yes. Yes, but if yeah, you do that, that, that action uh. with negative energy, then what's It will it? still fucking happen. By the way, yes, you no, I, I agree. Won't. I said no, no, no. this on my podcast. If you hate I got, sh- Dude, guys, don't it. talk. Oh, please. Sorry. It's called I a see, self-fulfilling right. prophecy yes. and it's a very real fucking thing. Oh, Bobby shit. is sitting here doubting himself and he is less likely to succeed and get to that next level because he's doubting himself. No, no that doubt gotta, is going to push him. Yeah, that look. doubt pushes. Look at David Tell. He hates his act. He thinks he's so unfunny. That's why he's great because he keeps pushing himself. I know, dude, and I'm not saying that there's not exceptions to the rule, but David Tell could be in a different place and be because he is the funniest man what? alive. Dante, so he could be bigger right, than Kevin Hart. Right, all right, all right, right cokehead, relax with your fucking. <laughs> let if it, if let you it. go out, out in your backyard, you lay five bricks every day, uh-huh. every day for three hundred. At the end, well, you of get the, these bricks at Lowe's or Home Depot. You both, you get them okay. both, both, both. All right. Are they my bro? <laughs> if you lay five bricks every day, right? at the end of the year, <laughs> you're gonna have a huge wall. You don't have to like so then they lay yes, bricks. Exactly. You don't have to. You don't have to be inspired. Positive. You don't have to be creative about it. If you and not only that, where do you get the money for the bricks? <laughs> um, you sell crack. Does that work? No, I'm serious. Where do you get the money to get the bricks? If uh, I want to uh, buy the bricks, where do I get the money for that? From anything, I don't understand what no, you're you asking can, me. You can I, I guess you'd be a meta. You create a metaphor, but I don't understand what I you're know, referring what to. What I'm saying what is, gonna do to get I want If I talk in this tone yeah. and I look at you with my head tilted, yeah. it sounds like I mean something. <laughs> <laughs> do you understand what I'm saying, dude? There's no. a swag that <laughs> people have, and you talked about it before with Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart would not be where he's at if his swag was Kevin a Hart one. worked Let me his, say his butt off. Yes, he mm-hmm. worked his butt off, but he had a fucking attitude and an energy to him that enabled people to buy into I'm him. And by the way, <laughs> I I fucking, second. let me say I, this. I've, I've, I've fucking worked in sales my entire life. Every job that I've done before I was a comic was in fucking sales, and there's a reason that there are guys that can go uh, and crush it in sales, and there's a reason well, that there are guys that right, fucking... Go ahead, what were you but say? you were saying the brick thing. Let's say one guy who didn't, who just worked hard and didn't think positive, and the other guy who thought positive did the same thing. Who's more proud of their wall and who's going who to get more shit who drawn cares? to their wall? Who cares When who's you proud work of it? hard and think negative, people really Dude, don't give a fuck about your you're, product. You're bugging. But when you, you're bugging. That's Let me insane. tell you something. If you lay you don't five scare bricks, people off of your if product. If you lay five bricks every day, even if you don't know how to lay bricks, mm-hmm. how? At, at the end mm-hmm. of the year, right. even the bricks that you didn't want to lay, you're going to be better at laying bricks at the end of the year, then you can I ask you a question though. Seriously, yes. How, I want to ask you a question. How did you get the money for the bricks? <laughs> like, where did that come from? <laughs> Dude, Dude, you're, Dante, you're talking know. about a very specific thing. And yes. yes, you are right. You can lay, you could fucking lay down bricks and build a wall. A hundred percent. You can become a professional comic and have a negative attitude and get to a very high level. I'm just saying, there's a very real thing to having a positive energy, yes. having a goal, and having a positive attitude towards achieving that goal. There's, uh, I'm not making this you, up. You there's a million. That. Hold on. You there's a million that. books you enjoy that prove the point that. That I'm making, and there are no books that disprove it. There's nobody that that is truly successful in the world that agrees with you, and there's a ton of people that are truly successful that agree with me in this. Dude, you, uh, who the fuck are you to say what the fuck the books are? What the books are? <laughs> <laughs> the look, let me say something. You nobody, put five words on a page nobody, every day for a look, year. Yeah, it's it's just horseshit. But if I, you don't put in the work. 
You don't put in the work, but it you're, doesn't you're happen. Both right. Right. I agree. Nobody's saying not to put in the work. I'm saying, yeah, you're, saying put in you're the work. put in better work, smarter work, more efficient work because you have a, the right that attitude. That doesn't mean you have the goals. Better, you can still do that. That you can still do that without having a better attitude. Right. I, I get be- what you're saying, though. When I walk into the cellar and I'm in a bad mood, I will fake it. I'll put a, a smile on at the table. Hey, everybody, how are you? I don't want to be a dick around everybody and be a sad sack. That I get. But when it comes to work, it's just work. It's work. That's it. That's Relationships. There's working smarter. All that shit. Agree. Move back a little. I always believe in working yeah, smart. You haven't been on the camera the whole and fucking show. I agree with that, too. Of course, work smart. Working smart doesn't... Stay mo- right most there. Of, most of the stuff that you do that makes you a better artist is not the stuff that you like. It's right, not the stuff right. that you okay. inspire that. It's, going, you, it's bombing that makes you a better comic. It's not the stuff that you're inspired about. It's not the stuff that you like doing. It's the stuff that you don't you like You don't doing. think that if you, if you sit there and you meditate... Now, Jerry Seinfeld, Howard Stern... These all transcendental med- meditation. They've all trained their brain to control their thoughts and their breathing and their, uh, you know, what they think is going to happen for years. Now, did that happen as a result of their success? They did or it before. Did that they did it before. 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 They did it Thirty before. years. Okay. So you sit there and you go. The walls of lack and delay now crumble away. I fulfill my destiny. I let go of all my hatred. I forgive myself. I forgive the people. And you, you, th- you, you do this over and over, and you, you, you clear your thoughts of negativity. You clear your thoughts of resentment. You clear your thoughts of, of um, hatred, and you're thinking happy and peaceful. You don't believe that those things will come to you. I, I think... I you think, don't think that that attracts. I yeah. think if now it we're does, talking about the if it fucking. Does, you're weak. You're weak. <laughs> I think wow. you're a weak really? individual. If you have to go and 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 say the same shit over and med- and all that, go and do the fucking work. Shut your mouth and go to but work. In a, way, in a way, that's doing the work. I don't know, dude. I, look, I don't meditate. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I don't need to get myself in that type of mental state. But for me to sit there and go. Like, no, me having a positive attitude towards my goals. Like, I'm, I, I go week by week, I'll be in a funk, and I will do less work because I'm mentally going, shit, dude, I'm not putting... That's it, weakness. On, it's not weakness, weakness, dude. It's being fucking real, okay? You, <laughs> what? <laughs> weakness. Wait a minute, dude. You yeah. get, I'm with you. No, let me say I'm this. with you, but stop and don't fucking get mad <laughs> when he calls you weakness. That's not real. Finish your thought, dummy. Don't no, just say that's real. No, it is. That means nothing. <laughs> people you should have push yourself out of the funk. Dude, and I do, obviously. That's why I'm still fucking here. But people have fucking moments Barely. where they feel <laughs> where they feel like shit and you, you don't you don't get up and you don't write that day, or you don't do a podcast, or you don't edit, or you don't do what you gotta do. So what do. you're saying is your sleeves are in a funk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure you were. I will. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but, I mean, and then when you're in a positive <laughs> attitude and you have some shit going on, this is why when you get something, it just starts to snowball. And it's not a coincidence, dude. Mark, we actually you said that to me recently. You're like, dude, you'll get on TV once, and then it'll turn to another TV spot, yes, and another TV yes. spot, and another TV spot. And it's not because everyone's going, oh, Mark's on TV. Let's book him now. No, it's because your attitude and your energy yeah. is positive. You believe in your fucking ability to get on television, and you're projecting that onto the people that are auditioning you. And that is a fucking fact. I'm not gonna. I won't even like. I won't debate any of that shit. You can sit there and go, yeah, dude, you can get success without having a positive attitude but to sit there and say it's not going to help and it's not going to do anything you're weak if you think that that's fucking crazy it helps I'm not to have saying, a positive I'm not attitude saying, I'm, I'm not saying it, it's, it's sure it's easier no you're saying my dad left me <laughs> no your if dad's you, dead <laughs> he didn't no, leave he you didn't. Monroe's left. dad left <laughs> Romero, yeah. his dad left my dad left your <laughs> dad died in the parking lot of a Tarjay but he planned on leaving yeah, he planned it. <laughs> he, was, he was packed. He was like, your essay, I will not let you take me out like this. I will go dignified like the, Puerto Rican. I'm trying to leave my son same. and I got stabbed. This sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I, look, at, I, I tend to agree with, I think that uh, you can. So you don't believe that the, the positivity attracts positivity, negativity attracts negativity. I think you don't believe I agree that. with that. You do. I'm. He's he's sitting here saying, if I think about being famous, it'll happen, and da 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 da. No, it's not. It's not thinking about it. It's, yeah. it's thinking and doing work to become famous. Damn. That's the if you if you keep the positivity going that you got. That's what I'm saying. I agree. It's easier. I agree. It's easier to do it when you're inspired. When yeah. you when you have a positive attitude. But the when the work gets done, the work gets done. What I believe in is that 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 funky situation that you're in right now mm-hmm. is still part of your life, right? And you have to embrace 
the shitty part of it as well as the the the, the, the victories it's that you life. have. Yeah, it's and you life. and you have to embrace all of it because you well, can't you, enjoy the things that you enjoy if, if you, you haven't had some shitty s- stuff that goes on in your well, life. Well, here's the thing: I, 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 that's why rubber bands make Monroe happy because he has such a shitty life. How what? do you know that? <laughs> what, <laughs> what, <laughs> what, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> no, it's anything. Like you like rubber bands? No, I don't like rubber oh. bands. <laughs> oh, I well, I know that. What I know the things that when I'm doing well, when things are going well in my life. It's because, number one, I'm taking care of my physically, spiritually, and mentally. Do you understand? Yes. When those three things are in check and I'm doing them, I, my life is smooth. And I enjoy it. I'm, I'm happy. I'm grateful, which is a fun. I think being humble and grateful are the two keys to life. When I went and saw Artie Fuqua the other day, which, first of all, I want to tell people he is doing better. Hey, he's doing better. Hey, that's great. He's in rehab. It's got a long way to fucking go. Mm-hmm. And I want to thank, you know, Amy Schumer is, I don't give a fuck what you think about her. She is a solid human being. One, one of the funniest people around, but a solid human being. She put that thing together for Artie. Oh, really? With the Comedy Cellar. And that, that money, people were questioning, where's this go to? It's going to be a long time. He's got a long haul, but he's, he's, he's definitely on his way back. He fucking, he cracked me. Norton and Keith went up and visited him. He, the nurse had a wig on. It was Haitian. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sh- you know, short haired wig, short haired black girl wig, right? He said, "He's in." He goes, "Look at this James Brown motherfucker." <laughs> I hit the fucking floor because it was it was James Brown's hair. <laughs> <laughs> it was. I didn't even notice. So it. he's like up like he's like making jokes and shit. He's making joke. Look, he is a Great. way back, man. He's no. I'm saying, look, he. You know, that's a crazy thing what happened to him, but he's got a long way to go. All the support and prayers and love and positive fucking thoughts. Are you believing it now, don't you? Well, I'm talking about for my act. I'm kidding. (laughs) But yeah, so when I saw, you know, when I saw um, him the other day, it made me grateful. And I I was kind of like, oh shit, what the fuck am I doing? I'm, I'm fucking grateful. I remember him just being, he loved hosting. He loved the people. He would stand, the shit that used to kind of bug me about him. This motherfucker shaking hands with every loud, crazy. I miss taking pictures. I fucking miss. Yeah. I fucked up. It was me. I fucking was wrong. I should have appreciated that. If I don't do it, that's fine. If I'm not like him, that's fine. But I should have appreciated it because he loved it. Yeah. And now he can't do it. Yeah. So are and you saying he will his, someday. his positive attitude? But I've also what seen I'm saying him is, smack some no. dude in his mouth. No, listen, that's not what I'm and saying. No, 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 no. No, you're not listening. I'm saying he. I'm. It made me grateful to see him coming back. Okay. And he was. I. I was grateful. So I yeah. think a grateful to be to be humble and to be grateful are two things that are powerful. They're not. They don't take away from you. I think they're powerful, and they make you internally have light. Yeah. It gives you light where you can not get aggravated. Okay. Not. But say you, you do things mean or fucked up. I'll not let life, like you say, which does suck no matter what, affect you as hard. But you will have darkness yes. again. Yes. And that's the point. I'm going to have black is, people on the show the again. Point, yes. the, point, <laughs> the point is not, is, is, is not really that you, don't, you, that you have high points and you have right. low points. Yes. You get up, you show up. Yeah. Every day, right. yeah. regardless of what you're feeling, and if you don't have a goofy me- um, board that you put your horse shit on or not, doesn't matter. As long as you show <laughs> up every board. day, no, but it makes it, it easier. It makes I have it, a horse it, it makes board. It easier. <laughs> but then you're lying to yourself. Makes, I'm actually <laughs> selling horse shit board. Uh, uh, you riot cast. We sell horse shit. <laughs> well, dude, I, look, I agree with you in the sense that I think it really tests your metal, and I think you see who people are when they're going through shit. Yeah. When when shit's going bad and your back's against the wall and you got to swing, you see the type of person that that you are. You I'm, know. So I agree, and yeah, I think and I, I think if you lay down and go, oh my god, I I fucking suck, shit, suck. dude. Yeah, some bitch ass shit. But we've all been there, dude. You've yeah. sat in your fucking bed, big ass fucking Dante, you're the scariest motherfucker in a I know. Twin bed. You've seen. <laughs> it's a, you've it's you've, a cop. Twin, it's a you've cop. curled no. up in a, a race car, race car, in a fetal <laughs> position, and you've yeah. had a Dante moment where you yeah. cried and you said, "Dude, I'm having a fucked up time in my no, life right no, now." No, Projecting. No, what are you talking yeah, about? No, hang no, on. No, no, I didn't. Just you're hang on. Hang on. Everyone had. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Pussy. All right. Hang on. Dante doesn't cry. Doesn't make me a pussy. Dante. You've all sat down and fingered your asshole. 
<laughs> Everyone in here has sucked with at your own dick. fingers. You all sat in a room no, with Lewis. You all sat. Puts four you all sat in a room butt. with three shemales while <laughs> through, uh, one of them did coke, and you sucked his dick until it didn't get hard. And Dave Smith <laughs> filmed it. <laughs> <laughs> and then you jerked off, and you had to try to wipe the fucking. The taste from that condom out of your mouth. <laughs> what condom? condom? What? Come on. <laughs> what condom? Quitter. <laughs> so no, this scaredy don't. cat. You, you never had a shit day? We, I have a shit day, but you get up and you show. Look, what I'm you saying. You never felt I, sad? Yeah, I you feel never, sad. I'm you sad right, right now. You haven't cried? Talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> you never cried and felt shitty about your Dude, shitty career? When my, fa- when my father died, I felt bad. No, doctor, we you said you should actually, cry. <laughs> no, you should cry right about your career. I, 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 Literally. I'm good. I'm good. You still I got a positive attitude, uh-huh. you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I got a positive attitude about my shitty we career. Should, we should tie Dante up and pee on his Jeep. <laughs> Just watch him weep a little. Yeah, yeah and then watch his fucking him fill up in his pants. Because that's what he's into, that fucking bone-wearing creep from Brooklyn. I like it when you piss on me. Um, the, look, I get that people need... Certain crutches, you need your stupid horseshit board, or you need to sit in fucking a mirror horseshit. and go, people like me, or whatever. Go I don't need it. Board. I don't need Use it. It's, you're dude. fucking weak. The you're 30. weak. <laughs> you're weak. Get up, show up, and and do what you I, have to I, do. I understand what you're saying, but I disagree. I don't think you're weak. I yeah. understand that sometimes people need to hit a bottom. Sometimes people yeah. need to fucking do a little sheet therapy. Sometimes people need to fucking uh, calculate what the fuck's going on and, and, and feel a little shitty for yourself but there is a point where you do have to get up and you do have to get back on a spiritual whatever that is physical and mental you have to take care of yourself i right now i am i'm not in a fucking i I, look i got a job coming i got because you got shit i i agree i think that's right where i'm scared of what's gonna happen you're afraid you're afraid of success dude i'm i'm not afraid of it but i'm it's 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 like what the people are saying dude congratulations i'm like oh for what for what? You're on a show. Yeah, yeah you but it's want, not on yet. It's you not wanna, out yet. You wanna? You look. I, I get. I get that way. Right. I get something, and then I'm freaking out about right. it. But that's part of it. Just like right. wow, when I got the call, and I was like, I, you, you got it. You feel good, and then you feel shitty, right. and you got it. You have to embrace. I think when you, the problem is, is not embracing all of that. The sad part, the the, the the scary part. You have to embrace it and live it, as opposed to ch- stop cherry picking your life right. about what, what you. Want. So what you're saying, you're not going to be, and I agree with this. You're not going to be happy every second of the day. Yeah. It's up and down. It sucks here and there. And you your got, stupid board doesn't fix that. Who has a? You made the I board. Know, up. You know the yeah. vision. But you made quests, it up. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. I have yeah. a the vision I board. I think he wants a board. Yeah. Yeah. I you hear about that and people staring in the mirror and I'll all this bullshit. I get it. I get it. It's people, people, people need a crutch, and and it is weakness. But I'm not saying that I have a problem with that weakness. You got to do what you got to do. But you will fuck get up if they you see sure, people I'll doing fuck them. Up. Yeah, you'll fuck them up. You'll punch them in the face. Sure, you see weakness. but and, and and rip their board in half. But you, the point is, you you you're in a situation where whatever you need, whatever you need to 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 get up in the morning, you do. But. Right. To say that that's the the way for things to, you need to do. Shut I think here, bullshit. here's the deal. Shut up. I think there's a di- everybody has their own little thing they do. Everybody has their way. Yes. Some people, you know what? Some people use ego. Some people mm. use ego to make it. Some people use ego waffles. That's Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mind it. I love Eggos. That's a pun. I haven't had an Eggo in a long time. I do love an Eggo, too. Oh, the way the butter melts in the fucking holes. Love it. I just eat the Eggos plain. It's great. (laughs) (laughs) Give him that fucking thing. Give him that. Look at that. Does Bobby look going to punch you in the face? Oh, my God. That was the first real moment you had. Scopo's not funny again. Scopo's not not funny again. again. All right, listen. We're going to end the show on that. You guys have been a... Uh, unbelievable. We're going to go around the room and uh, give everybody's plugs. But first things first, I want to thank the fans out there. Uh, I, you guys are the best. Thanks for uh, uh, joining the riot, checking out all the shows. But thank you for following this show. The You Know What Dude podcast is getting bigger and bigger every week. Uh, and it's because of you guys. Thank you for donating. Thank you for buying the merch. Mm. And thank you for telling your friends. And thank you for listening uh, to the show, downloading it and listening to it. I want to uh, I want to send prayers out there for Artie uh, and Tracy and and everybody. Uh, you know, Artie is doing great. 
Uh, and uh, I want to thank uh, you know A. Schumer for hooking that up in the Comedy Cellar and all you motherfuckers who donated, even if you didn't know what you were doing or why you should, but you did, or spreading the friend Joe Yannetti, who just uh, is recovering from throat cancer. He's a comic from Boston. Mm. Another guy who uh, you know you know we we all donated to, and and, and and there's a link up on his website. You can still donate to help him out over the next year. He's going to recover, uh, but he needs uh, help too. So um, I, I want to thank you know, and of course there's all this stuff with Opie and Anthony. Uh, it's going to work itself out. Um, there's a lot at stake: people's jobs, people's lives. Uh, and people's careers and it sucks and uh, you know I love Anthony and I care about him and I love Opie and Jimmy and I love the show and all you fans who have supported all them and us over the years I know you don't know what the hell's going on neither do I it's a fucking shock to the system and you want to do you want to lash out and you want to just you know um, make something happen uh, it, it's uh, it, these things happen and uh, I don't know what to do I really don't um, but we can't not support Jimmy and Opie, and you cannot not support and, and Anthony. So whatever it is that happens, whatever direction it goes, you know, we kind of stick together, I think, and, and, mm -hmm. and kind of help each other uh, flower into whatever the fuck we're going to do. Um, so anyways, I want to thank uh, Monroe for coming on. Monroe, what do you got? Uh, I can just say plug Last Comic Standing. You can just watch me every Thursday on Last Comic Standing. Just Hi, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Congratulations, thank bro. You. Thank you. Uh, how great is that? It's fun. I'm having fun. Awesome, dude. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Uh, what do you got, Mark? Uh, do you know when this will air? Uh, next Monday. Oh, great. Uh, my album drops July 15th. Yeah. So if it's after that, hey, thank you. Yeah. What's it called? It's called Still Got It. Still Got on It. On Comedy Central Records. It'll be on iTunes and all that good stuff. So, yeah, keep a lookout for that. And Is Ian still over at Comedy Central Who? Records? Ian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he running it? No. Oh, okay. Who's running it? Ah, uh, Dara, some chick. Oh, cool. Yeah. Right. Yeah, well, Jack Vaughn used to do it. Oh yeah, yeah, I heard about Great. that. Great, that's awesome, dude. Congratulations. Thanks, thanks. Well, you want to you want to know uh, if you don't know Mark Norman's comedy, you Funny need dude. to know it. He's one of the funniest motherfuckers coming up. He's been on fire for the last year, uh, year and a half. So you want to <laughs> get this fucking album? Make Thank sure you. you get it and support his. Uh, get it off iTunes. Make it number one. Tell your friends. Uh, and, and leave a review on how much you fucking love it. A five star. Don't give fucking anything else but a five star. Appreciate uh, it. What do you got, Dante? Uh, I'm on uh, a the, day job. It's the <laughs> the. Uh, <laughs> I, let me just finish. Get all of this stuff out. <laughs> wow. I just pointed at you and you flinched. You <laughs> it's because you're wearing a professional wrestling <laughs> fucking belt as a watch. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Holy shit. Yeah. Look at that thing. I got uh, that's I'm got an intercontinental title around his wrist. That's a, that's an Invicta right there, right? <laughs> yeah. That's an Invicta. A Venom. Uh, the, I got a, uh, I'm on uh, Stars Network, uh, reoccurring character on uh, Power. Uh, it's just one of the, one of the um, episodics. With the Black cents. Show, right? Yeah, uh, yeah it's kind of like the New York Wire. Kind of like that. Right. Yeah. Saint John. Uh, right. I said yeah. uh, 57. That's great. I have, uh, I have a couple episodes on that, episode five and six. So right. but if I'm going to watch be, it tonight. It'll be it'll be on uh, well demand. I'm, not, I'm on yeah it's on demand. My episode comes Saturday. Comes okay, make sure you check that out. Yeah, but what else you got? Um, uh, got Base Phillips show. Base Phillips show podcast. If you got problems with your bitch, you need some <laughs> bitch management. Listen to the show. <laughs> Dudes is under fire. I don't. Bitches uh, is out of pocket. All right. Got to well, holler at you, boy. Get your shit straight. Let me show you how to get that happiness. It's not not with your horse shit vision board either. It's real pimping. It's <laughs> yeah. about this real pimping. I, uh, I'm just going to go home and see my wife tonight and uh, hopefully <laughs> And make some soup. I'm going to eat I'm, some soup. I'm going to make her, maybe we have dinner together and soup watch and the sun go down and the rabbits hop on the front lawn. Soup and cuddle. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and, uh, um, and then I'm going to slap her right in the fucking face. Yeah. That, that hoe down bitch up. She's out of pocket. She's out of, she's in my pockets uh. taking all the money. Uh, yeah, and I got, and it's, uh, I just got a movie that just, uh, did, did bullshit! Dropped. No, kidding, uh, I got a movie that just dropped called so Movies don't drop. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. <laughs> well, it just went to, uh, <laughs> Lewis. Nice. He plays a silverback gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite animal, dude. I would, uh, I would, I would my uh, name is Bone Ear. <laughs> <laughs> would have been really cool uh, if you know the name of that, that gorilla on the fucking apes. I'm not but, racist. Uh, <laughs> 
right. Caesar. Uh, it was, was it Caesar? No, the no, bad guy. No, the silver no, no, bad guy. Well, anyway. Go ahead. Uh, I got a, a movie that just, just came out on DVD. It's uh, called uh, Once Upon a Time in Brooklyn. I play uh, it. Yeah. yeah. You play a big guy. Yeah, I play a big dude. <laughs> I'm the love interest. I play. I play the love interest who has. I do. I have my own dairy cheese, my goat cheese. I make myself. It's gluten free, and I fall in love with the woman who has her own spinach farm. We live in Westchester. <laughs> we know. Well, you're, a fucking, you're, you're, you're a fucking. You're a. You're a. You're a big I like, guy. I like, I like spinach farm. You're some. You're a big guy that gets shot early in the movie. <laughs> Actually, no. I make. I'll be on season two. You bitch. Oh. oh. Lewis is a bitch. Lewis, Lewis is a bitch. Is a bitch. Lewis yeah. is a bitch. You know what else? Lewis. Scopo isn't funny. <laughs> Scopo isn't funny. <laughs> Scopo oh isn't funny. boy. Okay. Right, what do you got? That wasn't a joke. <laughs> Come on, what do you got? Uh, guys, think? come check me out. August 2nd, I'll be headlining the uh, Garcia's at the Capitol Theater in Porchester, New York. <laughs> <laughs> Quit bragging. That's uh, actually a spot. <laughs> no, I'm fucking, it's me headlining yeah, the first uh, time they're doing it. Ah. Comics at for comics. And the last. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Why <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I give you that? That was so easy. That was so <laughs> easy. <laughs> And the last. <laughs> I got um, it. Check me out. No, seriously, I really want people to come out for this. It's we the, know you do. It's the guys at Comics. <laughs> comics at Fox was they're, yeah. they're starting to oh. expand, so they just opened oh. up a place in Atlantic What's City. What's it called? It's called uh, Garcia's at the Capitol Theater. It's the Capitol Theater, which is a big like rock theater. Yeah, but they have like a like a so they're headlining you. Fifty seat like little like right lounge. Loungy type thing. Right. Yeah. And they're headlining you. Yeah, they're headlining me. That's oh. great. Damn. Yeah. Good for you, buddy. Yeah, thanks. So come out to that August 2nd. Yeah. Go to my website, Puerto Rican Rattlesnake.com. If you do not want to use the other link, com, that's okay, but it's there if you want it. And Why would uh, Buddy have to do that? What? Why? She's in Italy. She's not even here. Why are you going to fucking say it? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, guys, go to kellyfasukasucks.it, which is the Italian website. <laughs> <laughs> I paid an extra yes. $11 for that one. <laughs> <laughs> she just fucking ordered another thing of prosciutto. Can I have one more thing of ham, please? <laughs> <laughs> um, and follow me on Twitter, at Luis J. Gomez. Uh, I'm catching up with Kelly. Soon enough. Oh, she's beating ah, you? Oh, yeah. she's beating me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Oh, but I mean, she, when I came on the show, I only had like a thousand Twitter followers, and she already had everybody. Nobody's followed her since. So uh -huh. that's, that's not true. That's true. That's not true. I swear to God, that's true. Well, no, once she blows true. that youth hostel, she'll get a couple more. <laughs> what, is she, what, is, what is it called? Youth hostel. Youth hostel? Youth. The two youths. When she blows, <laughs> when she blows a youth hostel. <laughs> well, well, the end we're of the just show and I'm nervous. Youths. Youths. Scopo, what do you have besides never opening for Lewis again? That's not a problem. Trust me. Oh, um, this is, he, he, he needs to get a little more ass kissy because I'm the only dude helping him out besides you. Listen, Bob. nope. I got Andrew Schultz. He's bigger and better. So. Oh, oh Andrew's shit. better. Andrew. Andrew also Andrew also plays a clubs, which will not let you open. So, oh, is that right? You just dug yourself, you fucking dumb Regan. <laughs> <laughs> he plays. Way better rooms than me. will <laughs> <laughs> never let you in. <laughs> uh, and the last. What? And the last. <laughs> what, what do you... What, Scopo, do, do you understand Scopo's problem, though? Last. Scopo doesn't know how to take a hit. He doesn't. He literally gets... Yeah, it's not a fucking problem. Yeah. It's like, wow, how, is, how are you even being funny? It's like, yeah, he's not open for me. I don't give a shit. I have Andrew Schultz, who's way better. <laughs> it's like, could you fucking... Everyone left. No, we laugh because you're fucking just mean. It's because we hate Lewis. Yeah, we don't, <laughs> nobody likes Lewis. I forget. Sorry about that. Fucking uh, Christ, Scopo. Learn how to fucking not be fucking so you. real. <laughs> Look it. Okay. What the fuck is that? <laughs> that was your moment. I did that on purpose. I did that on oh, purpose. Okay, okay, good. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Uh, you just get me at, at Chris Gopo on Twitter. And then your dates, Bobby. Yes, sir. Uh, the 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th. You leaving? Hang on. You got to take off. All right, give it up. Give it up, guy. Bye. I'll see you later. Lewis Bye, Lewis. Bye. Bye, Lewis. Bye, Lewis. 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th. You'll be at uh, Montreal. Uh, you'll be in Montreal, Canada. And right. then you're back there the 24th, 25th, 26th. Uh, 27th, right? No. No. Gee 27th, you're at the. Oh, no, you're in Montreal, but you're at the Sale Wilfred. Yeah. I can't read that word, theater. 28th, 27th, 28th. Yeah, and then uh, July 31st, August 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, you're at the Comedy Works in Denver, Fucking Colorado. Yeah, yeah. 
And 7th, 8th, and 9th, and 10th, you're at Stand Up Live in Phoenix. Nice. All right, guys, you got my dates. You know my website. You got my app. You got the podcast. Make sure you show the fuck up. Spread the word. Um, I'm going to start working on a new hour. I'm going to be fucking doing some of the old in there because I don't know what the fuck else to do. But I'm going to be working on the new stuff. I got a couple jokes. I got two jokes. Be positive. <laughs> Stay positive. I'm gonna, yeah, uh, I'm going to get my board up. I'm going to get my board. You guys are the best fans in the fucking world. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for supporting all my friends. And thank you for uh, uh, just being the shit. I'll see you guys later. You know what, dude?